<laughs> hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome to uh, welcome to a live stream. It, we're we're back on YouTube again with another live stream, and it is the channel's fifth anniversary, believe it or not. So I've been doing, I've been working specifically on this channel for five years. Like it's absolutely insane. Uh, uh, Karen, is that Karen? You, uh, Pinion. Thank you so much for uh. Oh, becoming a member for six months. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah, hello, welcome. I... Honestly... <laughs> I think until last week, I completely forgot that this was... Uh, this, like, specific date was coming up. So, uh... I didn't think anything of it until it was brought up last... I think it was brought up last week when I was streaming. It was like, oh, hey, you're gonna do anything soon. It's like, oh, I might... Oh, the channel's anniversary is coming up. <laughs> so... Here I am, uh, with hopefully something that is... Oh, I did say your name right. Now I'm going to be self-conscious about it, because I'll probably mess it up at some point. <laughs> so yeah, uh, at you know, it, it's interesting because, like, this... Uh, I don't know if how many people actually do remember, but um, at one point... I think my audio might be a little overpowering me. But I do speak quiet sometimes. Anyways, um... I don't know how many people, like, do know of the origins of the channel, but on a Mega Man X stream that two of my friends were uh, were in, uh, the idea was thrown out of a Knuckles channel, and, you know, I, here's me not doing a whole lot with the current channel that I was working on at the time, and uh, I made it, made a bunch of Sonic content, and here I am today. Uh, Trince, welcome! Yeah, Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles was... Uh, Originally brought up as a, uh, it was supposed to be kind of like a, a parody kind of thing or kind of a joke kind of thing. It's like, oh, I can make Sonic content too. And then about a month and I'm like, wait, no, I can actually make Sonic content. This is actually fun. <laughs> yeah, from, it was all started like, I think it was over the hype of Sonic Mania. So we are going to cover, we, we, we do have a little bit of Sonic Mania stuff to play today. Um, so the idea for today is that I have a bunch of fan content that I'm ready to play. I have mods that span all different Sonic games, uh, Sonic Generations, Forces, Adventure, Mania. Uh, I have stuff for, um, I have different fan games. So I have Sonic Rush 3D. I have, I, I could try to get a uh, PO6 working. It it works for most part, uh, for the most part, I think maybe one level is not optimized, but I, I can just play around with that. Um, I was wondering if we have enough people, can we do SRB2 card. We can go hijack a server. Because <laughs> I don't have my own. Um, I don't have my own server for SRB2 cards. So it's like, uh, maybe we could do that a little bit into the stream. You know, play a little bit of SRB2 card. Uh, and if anybody wants a link to that, I have it in the description. But that's um, that's up to you guys. If you want to like go find a server and play on it for a while kind of the idea and uh we're gonna wrap up this entire stream with a full playthrough of uh sonic triple trouble the 16-bit remake by known copeland uh noah copeland um i haven't played it yet i've seen a couple people play it but that's as much as i know like i've seen a few friends of mine play the game but i haven't played it i have not played it myself so i was waiting for today because it was only a few days later leo super champ how's it going can we free to play triple trouble's 16-bit all i can say it's an amazing game it took all the cool ideas from the original game and just amped it up to 11. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to it. Because I think I remember playing the demo not too long ago for Sage, and it was a lot of fun. Latoya, thank you so much. <laughs> it's greatly appreciated. Meme Bean, welcome. Hey, Duck Dealer, how's it going? Have you played the original Triple Trouble? I believe I have, but for whatever reason, I can't find the stream of me playing it. Uh, so what happened is that, uh, when I was doing Twitch streaming for a while, like, I'm still going to be going back to that. It's just, we're doing special occasion streams here. Anyways, um, I was streaming, like, four different, uh, Sega Game Gear games that were on 3DS. And I think Triple Trouble was on there, but I don't have the archive of that stream anymore. I think I lost it. I think I forgot to save it, so it just kind of got lost, the uh, lost in time, which kind of sucks, because... I don't know my first impressions of it. Like I know, f I can, I know for sure I have it. I've played it, but it's like I remember nothing of it because it's been so long. So yeah, 
the remake did Sunset Park justice and then some. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, it's it's crazy how um, how like the fifth anniversary of my channel is like what about nine days before the anniversary of uh, Mania's release, so that's coming up very soon. Um, there is no way I'm getting without defeating a bad Nick out before that because that's not happening. So it, I'm gonna get as close as I can. So bear with me. I'm working on some content. Uh, just a thing happened. Been going through hell recently. Keyboard broke and I had to use an on-screen keyboard for over a week. So, ooh, on-screen keyboard. That's kind of rough. I remember when I got a Mac Mini like over like 11 years ago. I didn't have a keyboard. So I had to use like, I think I had an iPhone at the time. And it had like a virtual keyboard that I had to like, it's pretty rough. And then I got like a cheap $10 keyboard or something. But yeah, um, it's been an interesting five years just making videos for a while. I know I've slowed down, slowed down a lot in the past two years or so. Uh, I think it's more because of a shift in because of a shift in what I want to do as opposed to you know making the same mod videos over and over again that could be done by anyone. Let's be honest, anybody can make those mod videos, but it was like creatively I was stuck. <laughs> you know, I kind of hit the ceiling. Uh, creatively when it came to those videos, so, uh, I don't know, I think without defeating a Bandic is more of a challenge behind the scenes, but also, it's fun. Now, especially with, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, Sonic Jam on Game.com, I did one on that, so yeah. Oh, hey, Radiant Gems. But, um, yeah. I think what I'm going to... I'm going to really take a close look at Mania as I'm working on that video, and we'll see exactly how possible it is. So, yeah. Um, but I, I guess we should kind of get... Well, I'm going to throw one more thing out there. Yeah, it's been five, five years since I started the channel. Uh... <laughs> Influenced by two friends to start the channel, but uh, in those five years, I've kind of met some very amazing people, and uh, the channel's kind of changed things for me. Like it's made things a lot, a lot cool. Things are just a lot cooler. Like I've gotten to know some great people. Hey, thank you so much, Team Forever. <laughs> but yeah, I've gotten to know a lot of great people over the five years, and um, I'm glad to be friends with, at least to my knowledge, all of them. Still, I hope. <laughs> But yeah, um, it's just wonderful people, and uh, there's way too many, way too many uh, to list. Because then I'm gonna feel bad for not mentioning people. Uh, do you still have that Knuckles intro on your computer? Unfortunately, no. I have it somewhere. I know for sure I still have it. I just don't have it on my computer. It's probably on my like. I have a hard drive that's full of like all of the old videos that I put up. Uh, it's probably somewhere on there. Uh, and so I would have to go sift around for that one. But no, I don't have it on my computer at the moment. It's on a hard drive somewhere else in another room. <laughs> so yeah. Um, which is a shame. I, w I really wish I knew 3D animation so I could just make like make one with the current background as you see right here, the purple one. But yeah. Am I going to go somewhere for the summer? Nah, I'm just going to kick it here. <laughs> I, if anything, I, I don't necessarily, like, go to specific places. It's more of, like, it's like, oh, I go to this city for, or this place, or go out of state or something. No, it's more of, like, I hang out with my friends um, at least once a weekend or something, so I'm not always inside. I've uh, been getting into a game called MetaZoo, which has been pretty sick. Um, they release way too much crap at once. <laughs> It's like, oh, hey, uh, Discord, we got a thing here. Oh, he here's a new set. Here's a new set. Here's a new set. It's like, stop. <laughs> let me let me have a break in between releases. But it it's a fun game, but it's a bit of a complicated game. Um, if you haven't played it yet, it I would say watch some videos on it. It's very interesting to see. The Classic Tales Gamer, how are you doing today? Uh, Tupinator, happy fifth. Probably won't stay long because I'm not a fan of streams anymore, but I remember being with the channel for a while. I remember the original without defeating a bad Nick videos. Yeah, I remember. I always thought I started that in 2019. It's like, actually, no, it's at the very end of 2018. Uh, it was like December. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, will I play Sonic Art? Okay, so um, 
bit of an embarrassing thing. So I'm using a completely different laptop than what I was a couple months ago, or like at the end of last year. And I forgot to transfer over my Sonic R files. It is from a legitimate copy of the game. I have the disc and everything. So all I have to do is just put that in there, go grab a disc drive uh, and do the same thing I did last time. I forgot to do that, but I brought, so I have Sonic CD from Windows 90, uh, 95, 98, whatever. I have the um, uh, Sonic and Knuckles collection, which is actually not that bad of a collection. And then, uh, <laughs> It's like, I have those games, but I forget to bring Sonic R, and it had the widescreen mod, and looked good and everything. I'm so annoyed by that. Like, I'm annoyed that I completely forgot about that. And I even brought Sonic Heroes with me. Or, onto this computer, but I've n I haven't played it yet, so I don't know if it works. Because I remember I had, uh, I had issues with slowdown. Uh, can I do a Sonic 3 speedrun? I'm not a Sonic speedrunner, unfortunately. Um, the only game I actually ever did a speedrun of is uh, Super Mario 64, and I currently have a time of 25.57 for 16 stars. It's not impressive, but that was like my second ever live run that I did on Twitch. So, yeah. Yeah, they did make, they did, uh, there are a couple of improvement mods for Sonic R. Uh, there's also one that changes the time of day for it, which is pretty sick. Like, or is it weather conditions? Either one. It's really cool. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm not much of a Sonic speedrunner. Uh, you, you have to go to, like, Argic for that one, uh, who is, like, a complete badass Sonic speedrunner who plays, like, all the Sonic games really fast. Actually, uh, they were actually a part of the uh, speed strats that came out not too long ago, so that's awesome. Speaking of Sonic 3 speedruns, they took out the skip for Hidden Palace. Like, they took it out. I I'm shocked that they even did that. And mod to bring the Saturn effects back. Yeah. Yeah, they did bring that. Anyways. Uh, I... Uh... Nady Red, welcome. How you doing today? Uh, I think what I should do is actually play the first mod that I have, uh, ready. I actually had, uh... I've had it, uh, ready for a while. It's just like, oh, start the stream. Sonic speedruns make me sick because I watch glitch lists and I get motion sickness because of the glitch where you clip through... Oh, you mean like the level wrap? Yeah, okay. I get, I get what you mean. Yeah, it's like watching speedruns is not for everyone. I'm just impressed with how like how well they execute uh, the tricks they do. Hey, Dave Vase, how's it going? Happy five years on YouTube. It's almost like I met you five years ago. Give it a couple months. Wait until like November, and that's when we met. <laughs> um, so for you know, it's like I started the channel with like after doing making videos for like six years. <laughs> uh, do dares and Sonic games. Is Sonic Triple Trouble a good 2D Sonic game? I remember the original one being pretty good. Uh, it had a few issues, but it was still good nonetheless. So I'm a, I'm told that this is like a really good one, so we'll see. Sonic Mania Mega Mix for the first crossover ever. Did we do a crossover on Mega Mix? I know we did races in uh, uh before they did the whole Steam thing for uh for like online play. We did like Mania uh, level races. Uh, do you know what Dreams is? If so, please play Sonic Adventure 3. Only if you have a PS4 or PS5. Unfortunately, I do not. I do not have a PlayStation 4 or 5. I have, like, Nintendo Switch and I have Xbox. Unfort and also, I don't have any of that stuff set up today because, um... Everything I can play on those, I can play on my PC. Including Sonic Trip uh, Triple Trouble. Not Triple Trouble. Uh, Time Twisted. I have that on my Xbox because it was on Xbox for a little bit. Uh, the original was great, but it was on Game Gear, so it was underappreciated. Yeah, I, w I would assume so, just because, you know, not a lot of people were playing it, you know. It has Sonic fan games on it, you can create games. Yeah, but I, I just don't have a PS4, unfortunately. I would love to, but... that. Oh, where's my other arm? Okay, there's my other arm. I'll just do this. I can't do anything about a console I don't have. <laughs> and plus, I think people are, like, selling them for much more than what they are. Where did the Knuckles channel go? It turned into this channel right here, only because I wanted to have my own, like, original branding. Um, the Knuckles channel stuff kind of ran its course for a while. Never played Spider-Man PS4. I'm going to buy it on PC. Uh, Spider-Man, or was it Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered? I'm buying that on PC. Sorry, it's, it's hot today. It's like, I think it was like... Last time I checked, it was 85 Fahrenheit. 
So it's going to be a toasty one today. So if I start sweating, yeah. Cannot wait for the Spider-Man mods. <laughs> it's going to be sick. Have you ever played Sonic Racing? Is that the iPad game? Um, I booted it up once. Actually, that was the whole reason why I got... I got an iPad because I didn't have a, a current iOS device. And then never made any content with it. <laughs> Which is absolutely insane. Like, I have an iPad, and I never made I never made content uh, with it. So, yeah. The Spider-Man mods are going to be sick. You got to play the intro. I don't have the intro booted up. Uh, let... You know what? Let me see what I can... Let me see what I can do. This might be the old intro, but it's going to do. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Let me go to the original person who made it. Uh, we can pause the music. Let me bring up this. Actually, hang on. Let me go here first. So that way everything looks seamless enough. All right, I didn't anticipate doing this. <laughs> I, I didn't plan for everything. I just planned for some things. Uh, let's see. Studio mode. Games. Let's bring up the web browser. Oh, is Chrome going to have an issue? It is not going oh, great. I'm going to click here. Click back. Yeah. OBS is starting to throw a fit now. It's like, nope, we're not going to show the browser at all. Okay. Kind of risky, but let's do the display capture. I mean, not risky at all. I don't have anything on here that's going to be risky. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Chrome issue? Yeah, I have to switch to display capture. It's fine. I can... I hate that, like... Window within a window within a window within a window thing that it does. Now I have to take a guess at where it's going to be. Uh, there. I'm taking guesses at where it is, so I apologize for how bad this is going to look. This is why I need to start coming prepared. <laughs> By the way, somebody was asking a favorite uh, modern game. I, I'm assuming you're meaning like the boost games. Uh, I'm going to say Generations. It's the best one, in my opinion. Uh, it just controls really nice. But also because the other ones are kind of underwhelming to me. I know people... I know it has its uh, audience, but it, I'm not the audience for that for those kind of games. This is going to get weird. All right, this is about as prepared as I can get it. Opinion on Sonic Dash. I... Didn't play a whole lot of it. Generations 100%. Stop. <laughs> oh, whoops. A little too far. That should work. Mm, and... Oh, this is gonna... I forgot how loud this is, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Are we on the right page? Cool. All right. Actually, nope. That's too quiet. That is too quiet. It's got to be as loud as humanly possible. Let's go. Knock, knock, it's knuckles. There we go. <laughs> I hope that was. I hope that worked. <laughs> Oh, that audio is loud. I mean, well, I know that could have just been going over me. 
Uh, what do you think of Lake Feppard Sonic games like before the sequel, after the sequel, and Chrono Adventure? I never played Chrono Adventure. I played a little bit of after the sequel, and I wasn't huge into the into the level design for before the sequel. So I don't know. Not a big fan of it. Uh, I I think unfortunately, uh, I I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of the level design, but it did play well. Will I do another Game Builder Garage Sonic games because I have a game with Sonic Physics and Sprites? Probably not. That video kind of, like, tanks. Garrett 64 Gaming. Hey, everyone should go subscribe to Garrett 64 Gaming. Like, now. Like, I mean it. You should totally do it. Oh! oh. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm gl okay. I'm not as mad because it happened. It happened on stream. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> that oh man. Oh. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I have a fan down. I have a fan down here because it's hot. <laughs> okay, so um, this thing's a piece of crap. <laughs> it literally started messing up um, shortly after I bought it. So I think I know what I need to do. You'll need to give me a minute to put my mic back on. Hold on. We got some technical difficulties going on here. I rebranded my channel in uh, Jan at the end of January. I think I broke my toe or something. I didn't like. I didn't, but it hurts like hell right now. So I'm gonna be doing this live until I have to unplug my mic. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I have never had a. Never had anything like that happen on stream before, but hey, uh, the one time, oh, it'll be fine without it. No, it just drops right on my foot. Oh, God. That... My toe is like purple now. Should I be concerned? No picks. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. I have to turn this off. Uh, you like the Inception going on right there? Uh, I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> Actually, I might as well get rid of that. So this is a Sonic stream. It's probably just bruised. I'll, I'll be fine. So I got to mute the mic real quick because I got to unplug it. All right, we should be good. So this thing here actually keeps it from falling. Uh, the other th the other threading was already messed up because it's cheap. So this extra threading actually holds on a lot better. God, I hope it does. So my foot should not be in any more danger than it was earlier. Hi, train boss. You missed uh, a microphone landing on my foot. And this thing is heavy. If it was my AT2020, I could probably accidentally break it. 
But this one is like, no, I'm just gonna, it's just gonna slam on your foot, and this thing is like a weight or something. Okay, then. Gotta be safe, not, gotta be in danger. AT, <laughs> AT 2020, that thing from Star Wars, you mean? Uh, close enough. <laughs> oh, man. I will inspect the damage after after the stream. Anyways, I want to. I, I just want to play Sonic Generations now. I'm just gonna play Sonic Generations. Can I just do that? <laughs> Go to the hospital while you can. Yeah, it'll be part of the stream. It's like what happened? Oh, I'm I'm celebrating five years on my channel, but a microphone landed on my toe. So uh, this will all be live streamed and I'll be told exactly how stupid it was for me to use this cheap. Well, you can't see it, but this one, that cheap uh, part of it. <sighs> okay, where is the one for generations? Sorry, I have a window capture for generations that I made specifically for it. Uh, go here. It's wishing my channel a happy birthday by trying to give me a hospital bill. <laughs> In the next five years, you would have been ce celebrating a fifth anniversary of you getting hit. I need to see if this is how loud this is. Okay, gotta lower it just a little bit. I'm trying not to make it overpowering on my voice. So this is actually an original level on its own, and it's like this giant snow area. And it's actually really cool. I've played it a few times, but never on stream. Gonna head out for now. Have a good stream, bud. Happy five years. It's insane to know you for so long. You've accomplished so much. I'm happy for you. Dude, I am happy for you as well. Seriously, like, if you haven't seen Dave Ace's channel, like, how much he has blown up in just a few months, it is absolutely insane. He also covers a lot of... Um, Sonic Speed Simulator content, so, you know, he's a Roblox YouTuber. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna play this level terribly. Chivalry Mountainsides. I love this level so much. I just wish I was good at it. Ah, I missed it. So yeah, it's just like a full 3D level, but it's kind of tough, actually. I'm being very careful with my uh, with my boost because I don't want to burn all through all of it. This is a Sonic Generations mod called Shivery Mountains. Also, let me know if the audio is too is good or not. this way, which will let me go up here. Oh, okay. No, land there. Oh, okay. Okay. Guess I'm not landing there. Sounds balanced enough. Alright, cool. I'm glad it is. But yeah, it's, it's a it's like a full, I believe it's an original level, and it's really cool. And I missed it. That didn't take too long. music really nice. All right, I'm going to take the safe route. Death has punt. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, having a microphone drop on my foot was probably like a sign. Dang it. I mistimed it. But yeah, it has like 3D sections, 2D sections, but it's mostly focused on like 3D. I don't want to burn through everything. But it is pretty generous. Like you just go in and do your... Uh, your homing attacks, and it actually does help you out a lot. I'm going to drop here just to play it safe. Right there. 
There's no 2D in this level. Uh, there's minimal. It does exist, but it's not a lot. Oh, I, I thought I was going to miss that. Also, this little snow thing, like, it, you will clip the, the edge of it. Because it's happened to me a couple times. I remember this part was, uh... Okay, I vaguely remember this part. I can't believe the game's actually holding up. Generation's having a good uh, level models, but the... Level models, but the 3D is better. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I love when I, uh, whenever there's like original levels like these. Play that one safe. There we go. Do you think boosts should be used again after Frontiers? Oh, sh no, I, I landed on it still. Dang it. Okay. Um, I don't know. I want to see how it's done in Frontiers. Uh, and then I'll probably give my answer to that. Because if it's done, if it's done really well in Frontiers, then I wouldn't mind seeing it return. If it's anything like Forces or Colors, where it's not great, then yeah, no, I can see the boost formula come to an end. Because not a big fan of the boost formula to begin with. So I don't know. I guess I'm kind of a hater. I think it's just very limiting what you can do. But if you can find a way to uh, incorporate it and make it still fun to use. Without having to... You cannot be serious. Okay, then. If you can make it fun to use, then by all means keep it. But um, I feel like you're limiting what you can do with your level... Uh, with the design of your levels with it. I think Generations was like the peak for Boost Formula Sonic. Oh, there's a thing here. Okay, I'm glad that happened. I do not want to bother with any of that. Let's go. Sonic Adventure 5. I don't even know what number that is. I'm not even reading that number. I remember this is a death trap that I don't want to deal with. So I am not going to bother running on the water. Okay. I'm trying to play this as safe as I can because I remember dying a lot when testing the level to make sure it wouldn't crash or anything. Although I think it's still going to crash at some point. Uh, I, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust myself. Playing Mania right now? Nice. Mania is a good game. Generations of Peak unleashed his second, uh, third forces, or third colors and fourth forces. I agree with that in terms of rank of the boost. I 100% agree with that. I think colors had some cool ideas, but it was just brought down by how many filler levels that were around. And then we'll see how uh, Frontiers is when it releases. I don't trust myself with like the 3D platforming in this level. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Let's. And that's the whole level. This one is fun. There's a couple of different paths you can take, and I'm sure there's a better route than what I did. And I am I'm sure there are better players than me. So uh Yeah, this one's cool. Colors levels are super inconsistent. Yeah, like they have some cool ideas. But then they go into, like, some super slow 2D gimmick level, and it sucks. 
So I'm not a huge fan of uh, colors. Like, yeah, sure, when the levels are good, they're really good. But then when they're mediocre, it's a little hard to look past it. So yeah, this was a uh, shivery, uh, shivery mountain sides. It's for Sonic Generations. You need the um, Edge Mod Manager. Yeah, Hedge Mod Manager to run it. Just double checking. So I recommend this one. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of tough, but it wouldn't take too long to get used to it. So um, I think we're going to hop into our next game. We're going to go back here. We're going to go into our next game, which I hope works. Um, You know what? Since Garrelly64 is here, we'll, we'll do this one. Hold on. There, there are some cool uh, mods that I have found in the past 12 hours, 24 hours, actually. I think you might appreciate them. We'll see. Or he's going to tell me, nah, nah, bro, these ones suck. If he tells me that, then um, I, I don't know what to tell him. So we'll go that one and stop. Oh, this, no, this keyboard remapper, I don't care about that. I don't use keyboard. And we'll go that one. Sega. Oh, uh, well, gave it away. Sonic Team. Hang on. There we go. Thoughts on Origins? Kind of mediocre. I mean, it, it's okay. It's fine. But for someone like me who has, like, different ways of playing the games, there is nothing that it offers me that I can't get elsewhere. So, hate to be that harsh, but... Yeah. And yeah, I know it's got it's got like the garbage adventure DX look. There's a reason for that. Sonic Advance, it's fun. Uh, I'm not a fan of the of the last bit of the game, but it's fine. Aqua Road reimagined for the stream. I'm interested. Yeah, that sounds cool. So uh, we are gonna go with this level. Adventure one and two re uh, remake rumors. I don't know about them. I'd never heard about them. Surprise, it's Tiny Huge Island from Mario 64. I deem it to you when it's uploaded. Probably will be an hour or so. All right, we can always come back to it. And it, for some reason, has like weird textures. I don't understand where that came from, but the design is still there. So I can go this way or I can go this way. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. Sonic Adventure 96 on the PS 90,006. Exactly. That thing just kind of fell in. Yeah, it's a little buggy. I can't figure out how to get it to work like without it uh, messing up like that. So this is the best I got. Sorry. So you can go that way or you can light speed. Da oh my gosh. I thought it was falling off. Or you can light speed dash to it. This is Sonic Adventure, right? This is always how it looked. I love how huge the level design is. I hate racing Koopa the Quick on this level. But yeah, you can go in here. I wonder if there's... Oh, there's items in there. Cool. There's a one-up. You spin dash jump your way up here. I like the, the level design. I like the level design a lot in this level. It's cool, it's just I don't think Sonic's really made for this kind of level. Uh, do you like <laughs> Mario Adventure? Yeah, it's so cool. It's like the best Mario game on Sega, Dream Sega Dreamcast. It's like, you should make a video on it, like you did with the best uh, Sonic game on N64. Uh, do I like the... Do I like Sonic Adventure on Dreamcast or GameCube? Uh, Dreamcast. It's the one I grew up with, and I still have to this day. Yes. Which Mario Galaxy game do you think is better? I like the first one more, but I know the second one's pretty good as well. Do I know what Mario 64 Plus is? Oh boy, do I ever. I love Mario 64 Plus. Select your Let's get him. Mario 64 is Sunshine. Uh, I'm going to have to go with 64 because Select I've estate. I've done speedruns of Mario 64 before, so I'm more familiar with that game. I have never beaten Sunshine before. And I think I've gotten about 30 shines and then I stopped playing it. So the next one is going to Red Mountain. Which adventure game am I playing? The uh, DX. No. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, I think I know what I did. Actually, hang on. Okay. 
That's no. just, that's just going to glitch out. All right. So I can't have two mods running at the same time. Now I know. Although the first sound might be a giveaway. Let's try it now. Sega. <laughs> I love this level. <laughs> uh, is there another franchise you'll cover next? I want to get back to Mega Man. Um, because when I did the original Mega Man video, I kind of got really anxious about how the channel was doing. And um, I felt like I had to really backpedal and just stick to Sonic for a little bit to kind of say to keep my channel from completely dying in front of me. But I would like to get back to that. I have a video on Celeste that I'm currently making that I will be uh, finishing soon. It's probably going to come out within the next week. Uh, and then I want to get back to, you know, get back to Mega Man. There's other games that I would love to play and talk about on the channel because there's a lot of games I like. The first 3D game I played... <clears throat> Hang on, I need water. Do you know about Mega Man Battle and Fighters on Switch? Yes, I, I heard about that. That is such a cool thing to add. <clears throat> Remember to drink water. Uh, let's see. Sunshine is the worst 3D Mario. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Uh, Sonic Origins or Mario Super Mario All-Stars? Pick one. I'm going to pick Super Mario All-Stars all day, every day, because I love the Mario games. <clears throat> it's nothing against the games on Sonic Origins. It's just I love Mario games. Like, those were some of the first video games I played. I played a lot of the original... Uh, we are talking Super Nintendo All-Stars, right? Because if not, then this is getting awkward. Do I know what the Needle Mouse thing going around? No, I'm not... 100% sure. First game you ever played on got on Switch. On my Switch? Because there's a couple of Switches in this place. Uh, the first one I ever played was like Mario Odyssey. Fantastic game. Original Mario All-Stars is goaded. Absolutely. Also, <laughs> it's Hazy Maze Cave. So we have like two ways of going through. We have this one. Even though I still run into that stupid thing. Oh, that's dangerous. And... Do I have to climb this? Oh, I thought I did. That would have been cool. This is awesome. I actually haven't seen this side of it yet. Uh, Sonic Beats, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Have you seen a video on why Sonic doesn't work with Kaizo from... No, I've never heard... I've never seen that video, but I could probably understand why Kaizo really doesn't work with it. So I can go here. Oh, I guess I can only go here. Can I go back? What's up here? I'm just looking around. I mean, it's a Mario 64 level in Sonic Adventure. <clears throat> Sonic Mania without defeating a bad Nick. Uh, I have not worked on it in a while, but I have a good amount of progress on that video done. It's probably not going to come out for the uh, fifth anniversary of Mania's release, for sure, because I still need to release my Origins video. But I'm going to try and get it as close to... Um, I'm going to still try to finish it by the end of August. Not sure exactly how well I could do that. Mario games without defeating enemies. I actually did a uh, Super Mario World without power-ups once on a um I think I did it on a Twitch stream. I did it for Super Mario World because it was my favorite game. Where's Lethal Lava Land? Oh god no. I don't want that. You don't want that. Stop pretending you want that. Where's he at? okay I know where the exit is. I just don't remember how to get there. I don't like Hazy Maze Cave very much. Kind of a little hellscape. Where's the, where's the button for this? Okay. You want TikTok clock? Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I would not want to play that. That sounds like pain. Sounds like Spain without the S.
Eh. Camera. Oh no, this camera is stuck. Okay, that camera is... Oh no! Ooh. Um, okay, there we go. That might not be the best way to go. Yeah, it's been five years since I started this channel and a lot has happened. Uh, SA1 or SM64? Mm, depends on what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for something where I could just like play around with, uh, with abilities, I'm going to go Mario 64. If I want to just like go through a 3D platformer really fast, it's going to be Sonic Adventure. And I only tend to play Sonic Story because that one's the most fun. Remember finding the channel had your old account. Hmm, okay. Your classic tier list. Mania 3, 2, CD1. Mine is, uh... 3... 3, Mania, 1, 2, CD. Since you stuff in your server that could use in your streams if you'd like. Alright, I'll be sure to take a look at it. I'm sure it's probably the clip of the microphone falling on my foot. For anyone not sure of what I'm talking about, you missed a lot. Okay, what if I do... Oh, free camera. That's what I need. It's because it did auto camera. There we go. I think free camera uh, keeps it from freaking out. But there's a couple of exits in this level, and that's one of them. Uh, there's another one that I can get to super fast, so we're I want to show that one off. Would you want a Sonic Adventure 3 personally out of 1, nor do I believe it's needed? Eh. The franchise is doing fine without it. <laughs> it was posted in general. <laughs> Thank you for that. So that's one of uh, two exits for that. The other one is this way. I'm going to try and quickly go to it. You go... You like to be dash over that? You go in here. And then you go through this. Kind of drop down, because this is where the lake part is going to be. Ready. And just like Mario 64, you can actually play with the physics here and get pretty far. Oh, my toe is starting to hurt now. I actually don't know where this is. Where am I at? Oh, this is the Metal, Metal Mario. There you go. There's the other exit. There's probably one more, but I'm not sure where it is. To think that SA1 had no actual water to go. Oh, I didn't know this had more than just Tiny hey, Huge Island. It, it it's a it's a different mod, but um, it's made by the same person. And I am a jerk because I don't remember who the person is. <laughs> Is this M64? No, this is Sonic Adventure. No, this is Patrick. We got one more uh, mod to show off. Uh, I have to, like, disable that mod and enable a different one. Oh, don't put install folder. Come on. Oh, did it just... It oh, I accidentally Sega. uninstalled the mod loader. Oops. Okay. Well, I installed it again. This, is this the crush crap? Team. No, this is Patrick. Can you check your server after this one? Sure, I can do that. Select a fire. So now with this one, we go to Select, we go to play a Sonic. And we go straight to Emerald Coast. They deleted your Select your encore mode. Oof, big oof. And now we have. I hope. Bob on Battlefield. And to be true to uh be true to Mario 64, it needs to have a free camera. <laughs> Let's a get him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, I wanted I wanted the music, so I'm going to let this run out. Sonic's physics break this game <laughs> completely. Oh my god. The true Sonic 64 experience, exactly. 
I could have gone my entire life without knowing you can actually stand on those. I can't get my star, though. What if there was a Sonic Generations uh, for a game like Mario going back and replaying levels from Mario's history? That'd be pretty sick. I'd play it. I'm not going to get the invincibility. <laughs> Sonic is iconic level, Washington, D.C. And the music is nice. It's so good. This is a uh, Bob on Battlefield in, in Sonic Adventure DX. Uh, when the stream's over, I'm going to have a list of every mod and fan game I play through. And I'll be sure to link to all of them. There's no bombs here. How to improve Sonic the Hedgehog Episode 2. Made a fan of... Um, okay. Galaxy 2. I knew it was familiar. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot to this. You just kind of go here and hit the capsule and that's it. But it's really cool to just run through. And it also shows you exactly how fast Sonic really is compared to Mario. The Hilltop Zone from uh, SA1 at some point. Do I have that? Let me see if I have that. I probably Select don't. I can check and see if I have it. Uh, if I don't have it, then unfortunately I won't be able to play it. Hilltop, hilltop, hilltop. Dang, I don't. Oh, sorry about that. I actually don't have it, unfortunately. So yeah. <laughs> Let me check the Discord server. What's going on on the Discord server? I'm getting pinged. Someone really just like spamming emojis in there. That's kind of annoying. Imagine being a child. <laughs> the artist corner. What's this? Oh, it's like a starting. S oh, okay. It's like a starting soon screen. Um. All right. I get it now. Uh, let me see, can I... Hmm. What's the best way of showing this without showing too much? Alright, I think I can... I think what I'll do is I'll open them all in, uh, in Chrome, and then I'll just show them one by one. Okay, so just bear with me for a moment while I bring up studio mode and make sure none of this breaks on me. Oh, that's right. Chrome is going to freak out again. Yeah, it's going to freak out again. Okay. Uh, where is play capture? Move it to this side, make sure it's... And none of it's there. Hmm. We'll just do this one fast. <laughs> it's not going to look clean, but it'll be fast. Out of the way. This side. Okay, so... We have a technical difficulty uh, screen. I believe that's Lost World, right? We have uh, a thanks for coming uh, with... That's either Lost World or Smash Brothers Brawl, because I think that's Brawl. Or not Brawl, uh, Ultimate. Sorry. I, I just think of Brawl, because that's the first game he showed up in. Then we have a starting soon. Although I... Hmm. These renders look very familiar, and I don't know where they're from. And then we have a BRB. <laughs> I, I think the only issue is that I don't know where the renders come from, with the exception of the uh, Lost World Game Over thing. Uh, so I would have to give proper credit for that stuff. Uh, cause I know what it's... I've seen what it's like when you don't give proper credit for... Uh, oh, they're from TSR. Okay, thank you for that. I haven't played TSR in so long. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about TSR existing, and that's only that's because of the game. 
let's be on, I'll be honest. Uh, if Triple Trouble 16-bit was actually released on the Genesis, what stage do you think it would have appeared in Mania? What's the most popular stage that it has? Because whatever it is, it, it would probably be that one. Yeah, the mobile version gets... Well, because Sega Hardlight works on that one, and uh, Sumo Digital kind of moved on from uh, from uh, TSR. I think they're working on something. They're, they're working on another game that's currently active, and I don't remember what it is. It might be something... Mm, I don't remember what the game is, but I know they're working on something that's currently being like actively developed. Yeah, probably Sunset Park would, would be in it. Um, hmm. Let's do some fan games. But I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to mute the... Uh, the desktop for the stream, just so that way I don't hurt anyone's ears. I don't know how loud this is going to be. We got a, we got a few fan. We got like, what two or three fan games that I'm that I have on here. Uh, let's see. Do Sonic Rush. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? It is not. Okay. Um, bear with me for a moment. I know. I keep saying that, but I don't know what else to say. Wait, did it really just do that? Oh, is it really? It is not breaking because of that, is it? Hold on. Let's go to HD. Wow, it really just did that. Can I refresh it? That's the window. Hmm. That might not have been the right window. Wow. Are you serious? Okay, then. That's a new one. Let's do game capture, then. Fine. Be a special case if you want. Specific window. Rush 3D. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Perfect. And just copy the transform on that. This is going so well, isn't it? All right, so this is Sonic Rush 3D. It's kind of bringing in a bit of Sonic Rush and a bit of Sonic Unleashed from the Nintendo Wii. So uh, I'm going to play like garbage because that's all I know how to play as. Did it really just do that? It reset all the way to freaking 1080. All right. This one's pretty early for how it's developed. I think it took about, what, three months to get this build? Which is impressive. But yeah. Old Tornado's running out of gas. I'm going to drop you off before heading back to refuel. We're near a part of Ap uh, Apatos that connects directly to the Water Palace. I think you can sprint the rest of the way there. And we got Sonic. Yep. I love the low-poly models uh, and the low-poly textures. It's, it's just really cool. I dig this look. Sonic Rush, the Unleashed Project. <laughs> but yeah, this one's another cool one. The little, it's a little slippery with its movement. Like, turning and stuff. It is a little loose with that. And you can also do tricks. But you can also boost. Oh, no sound? My bad. I sh it should be fixed now. Hey, Martin, thank you so much for the 24 months of membership. Oh my gosh, just aim forward, Sonic. I still managed to hit that. Hey, 
And then I can boost. I try to use my boost as little as I can. Fan remake of Sonic Rush and 3D. Sort of. It's kind of like that, but also a bit of uh, Sonic Unleashed on uh, on Nintendo Wii. Kind of. Oh. Wait, what? I am not on the same plane of existence as this thing. I'm going to go over. At least there's a way around it. The music is indifferent. True. Wait, whoa, hold on, what? Oh, well, okay, I lost that. <laughs> I just went flying off screen. <laughs> Have I played Rush Adventure before? No, I haven't. I've been wanting I've been needing to uh, collect that game for a while, or to buy it, so I can play it. And then the bumpers. That's me not knowing exactly which bumper to go through. I'm gonna go forward because that's the safest route for me. It is literally just mash the Y button. Just to do the trick, but it's also kind of fun. Yeah, Rush 3D! This one's kind of... I, I want to see exactly where this fan game goes, because I like where it's going so far. Oh, I don't have enough, do I? Am I not going fast? Okay, I am going fast enough, apparently. Because if you don't go fast enough, you actually just kind of fall in the water and die. I love the pixelated look. Like, the low-poly 3D look is something I can vibe with. It's got a few visual issues, but uh, that can be ironed out. Remember, this took about, I believe, three months? I follow a few people on the team, so... I don't know. Maybe if they ever pop up, I could ask them that. Low poly Sonic gives you uh, gives you life. Uh, I need to stop. Okay. Oh, I tried to like uh, boost and then jump. Not really giving a clear sense of direction. Yeah, I can I can see that. Aside from that, this is peak. It's pretty cool. It just needs to be like. It just needs to be worked on a bit, and it'll be fantastic. Don't forget to use the tricks. They're there for a reason. It's too much is borrowed from Unleashed. I mean, there's only so much you can take from Rush without it being Unleashed because... It's essentially a 3D boost game. Okay, that's what I can do. Oh, this part I hate. Because if you run out of boost, you're just going to fall in the water. Perfect. I'm going to trick to the end. Why not? <laughs> I'll talk about the level graphics, not the gameplay. Ah, okay, okay. If there would be one thing to nitpick, I think the audio samples are too clean and would be a bit crushed to fit the aesthetic. I think it's an option for that would be really nice to uh, have like the clean version and then the bit crushed version. I think that would be awesome. Remember that Rush did boosting before Unleashed. Remember that it, was it Advanced Two did it before Unleashed and Rush. All right, mysterious dog. Thanks for coming by. Hope you have a good rest of your day. 
So yeah, that's Sonic Rush 3D. Not a whole lot more I could show off because I essentially did everything that was possible. Except for play well. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's not a whole lot to that demo. Uh, at least for now. In advance to the boost is basically a way for Sonic to run faster. What do you think the boost is? I mean, yeah, sure, the boost now gives you the ability to knock out enemies, but yeah. Still, like, that's what the boost is. <laughs> Alright, uh... Hmm. What can I play? Oh yeah, so I do have SRB2 card if anybody wants to do some races. We can just chill and do a couple races, but uh, we'll give that a little bit. Uh, hmm. You know what? We got some media mods. We could do that first. I want to make sure that, uh, yeah, SRP2 cart. I'll do some media mods. If anybody wants to hop into the SRP2 cart, we'll do that right after. I'm, tr I'm trying to make sure that there's like a, a, a decent amount of stuff that I'm showing off today. Do you know what happened to Twip? He hasn't posted a new video in four months. I don't know if he's made community posts, why he hasn't posted. He's just doing his own thing now. Uh, I don't know if he is done with YouTube or if not. Um, honestly, if he was done with it, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, not going to lie. Toxic comments tend to get toxic. But um, yeah, if, he, if, if, he's still make, if he's still planning on making videos, then awesome. But if not, then I completely understand. Trust me, some of those... Some of the people commenting on his videos that didn't like what he said uh, get pretty unhinged. Just going to throw that out there. That's all good. Uh, I just threw out the idea of, um, of SRB2 card just in case. You know, just to throw a little bit of like multiplayer. But no worries. Hmm. Yeah, he had some pretty controversial opinions, uh, but, you know. Definitely not as controversial as how, as how some people have been acting towards him, so, yeah. So I have the Misfits pack, and I also have the Mega Mix. I have Mega Mix, I can do that. I just don't know how to run Mega Mix Mania with, uh, with Amy. I'm trying to get Mega Mix to run with Amy because I heard that can be done. I just don't know how to do it. So I'm going to try it and see if it works. Okay. Retro engine mania. Okay, cool. Just gotta wait for mania to boot up. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Martin. And also, Robin, thank you so much. Uh, do Mega Mix Mania first? Like, how does this work? Do I play it like that? Thank you, Cheddar. Might need to load Amy Mania with the higher priority than Mega Mix. Okay. And it doesn't seem like that's working either. <laughs> okay, then. Wait, not a valid mod? What? Nah. How is this not a valid mod file? Wait, so can I can I just not run Mega Mix on at all? Hold on, let's try that. Hmm. What am I playing now? I'm trying to boot up Sonic, uh, some Sonic Mania mods. I only really have two. Wow, my Mega Mix Mania is invalid. What? Oh, that's crazy. Um, I have the right version, don't I? All right, well, I guess that one's kind of out. Sorry. Let's do... We can do Misfits. 
I think I've done Misfits before on a stream, but it's the only other one I have. I have a Steam Deck. I should probably figure out a way to get mod loaders work on Proton easier. I wouldn't know how to do that. I decided against getting a Steam Deck because I got this stupid thing over here. Sega. I ended up getting this stupid thing, which uh, Gerald64 knows, knows what I got instead of a Steam Deck. That was it. That was it. Uh, okay then. Cool. Perfect. Wait, Misfits spoiler? There's spoilers for this. I did not know that. I'm just gonna play all as one character because I like. I don't know. Oh, you cannot be serious. Fine. Fine game, I'll use a keyboard. This is disgusting. How do people play video games like this? I love when Mania does that. It's my favorite part. Please help. Looks like the lava from a Mario game. Yeah, it's like three things have gone wrong so far. <laughs> the iconic mania bug, uh, controller bug. Oh, it's it's great. It's the best. We're gonna go up here. I've never played. I don't play mania like this, so it's so bizarre. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, never mind. Sounds terrible. It's... I don't play games like this, so it's very foreign to me. Like, all of the 2D platformers that I have, I try to play with a controller. Nope. Oh. I'm just used to playing with a controller. The new Sonic 3 codes in uh, in Origins? Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, I think Codename Gamma uh, brought them up the last time I talked to her. That apparently they didn't work until a new update came out. So, yeah. If you haven't seen Codename Gamma's newest video, uh, I believe... And they showed off like some of the uh, glitches, and I think... Uh, I want to say Gamer Blake 90 did the commentary for it. Fantastic job on the commentary. But yeah, uh, I haven't tried the codes, but I've seen them. I haven't played Origins in like two weeks because I've had. Or I didn't play. I haven't played it in a in one week because I had no reason to play it except for streaming. There we go. With games on PC, you still gotta remember you're playing it on a machine that is not intended to play a video game in the first place. Uh, I don't know about that, because... I mean, computers have been able to play games since the 90s, so... Uh, like, especially these days, they're literally made to play on them. Unless it was a port that was from, like, a console. That was kind of easy. Uh, I've, I've played this before. It's also, it's just a little difficult because I don't play, uh, with, uh, with keyboard. So, I'm not as good. This is nice. Love the background. Make sure I don't land on that one. Now the chat's there. Right, that's how that works. Forgot about that. Hey, Retro Mary, how you doing? And also, thank you. 
How have you been enjoying uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Wait, can I go up there? How easy is it to go up there? Oh, that's probably a Knuckles route or a Tails route. You love this music? Me too. It's it's so good. Yeah, this background is so clean. Okay. I was not expecting that. I feel like I went backwards. Dang it. I'm going to keep making that mistake. I'm going to keep making that mistake because I refuse to learn how to play plat 2D platformers with a keyboard. Only because I'm, I'm bitter about the fact that I can't use my controller. I'd rather use a controller. Been doing well. The game is seriously super fun. I haven't gotten past the tutorial. I've only gotten to play you know, one side of of the party. Awesome. Uh, be sure to avoid spoilers. I don't know how many people have are into Xenoblade here in the chat. But just to play it safe. Future is now old man. I mean... Um, would you want to use, like, a keyboard from, like, a DOS keyboard or something to play? You want to use, like, your old joysticks? No, I have a modern controller for this. It just doesn't work. You'll be avoiding spoilers. All right. Awesome. And also, uh, Garly64, you're not that far behind me in age. So enough, so easy with the, with the old man comments. Which pro controller hooks up wirelessly and works well through... Excuse me? Okay. I use my Xbox controller with the, uh, with the Bluetooth. Be careful. Like, I have it connected through Bluetooth for whatever reason, it's just not working. Even though it... it usually works like there's almost never a problem with it with maybe uh kingdom hearts being an exception like like the game just does not like wireless controllers I literally have not played Mania in a long time. I know I did that. I know I've done some of the without defeating a bad Nick footage, but it's been a while. A retro engine be like. Also, unfortunately, uh, no Sonic Origins mods because I don't have Sonic Origins on PC. I bought it on Switch to avoid glitches. I've been calling you a boomer for years. Well, I mean, yeah, you're a boomer. What happened to the tree? Um, it just couldn't hack it. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Isn't Switch like the most broken version? It's actually not. It was very stable when I played it. There were a few glitches, but for me, it was like either Xbox, Switch, or PC, and I had more access to my Switch and PC. Well, this mod sure is outdated. Not exactly. I mean, still a good idea. Let me try booting the game up again. I'll try booting the game up one more time to see if it uh, if it'll work. But yeah. I'm going to boot it up one more time. If it works, then I can use my controller. If not, then damn. Gonna be 24 soon. You're gonna become the people I called old when I was 10. <laughs> uh, how do you think I feel? In a couple of months, I'm gonna be 30. Not the most fun to reflect, to think about. There we go. It works. Finally, they're working on the Misfits, so we can expect a new version uh, with the new brought back levels. Nice. 
Dylan doesn't have a beard. He's obviously a boomer. There are people who are like in their 30s who can't grow facial hair that well. So I'm not saying Dylan is one of those people. I'm just saying there are people who are like that. So I'm just saying, you know, just because facial hair doesn't mean anything. I was growing facial hair when I was like 19. So that's not an indicator of anything. Oh, that was a bad idea. Finally, a controller. This feels natural to me. I didn't want to assume anything, okay? I, I, I mean, you kind of, you said it yourself, so I'm just going to... But yeah. I don't know how I was able to. It just kind of happened. Because before, it was nothing. What's worth, uh, Labyrinth or Sky Chase? Uh, Sky Chase. At least Labyrinth, you're doing something. Also, I like Sonic 1. I have a bias towards Sonic 1, so... I don't know, cry? I don't know. You do not want facial hair? It's not the worst if you manage it. That being said, I can't do that. <laughs> I just kind of let it. I just let it exist. You think Sonic 1 is better than 2? I enjoy Sonic 1 more than Sonic 2. I enjoy the fact that it's more of a platformer than just, you know... I enjoy that it's a decent platformer with some challenge as opposed to a platformer with a uh, with an instant speed power uh, ability. Oh, thank you, Mary. I've, I've tried going without facial hair before and I'm just like, yeah, no, this isn't me. This looks, it's, uh, I think a friend of mine said it best. It was too much face. I'm like, yeah, I agree. Is one better than CD? Absolutely. I do not like uh, Sonic CD at all. I was trying not to hit that, but I did it anyways. Way too underrated. I think it's just there's a lot more people who were introduced to Sonic 2. Not a problem. Like, that's not a bad thing. It's just there's a, far more people with uh, nostalgia for Sonic 2. So they'll always prefer that, and then they'll always talk down to Sonic 1. Sonic CD is the definition of I do not care for it. I'm going to agree with you on that one. I do not care for Sonic CD very much. I remember there were two Labyrinth Zone mods being developed at the same time, and it was a similar idea. There was a T-Lips uh, remix that was really good. Oh, you... All right, I'll be sure to check DMs. I hope I have a, I hope I have a save file for uh, horses. I downloaded it yesterday just so I could do uh, so I could do today's stream. I'm like, I don't even know if I have a save file for it, but I think I do. All right, Epic Star, thanks for coming by. I hope you have a good one. Yeah, you'll you'll save me again because last time I was playing Sonic in the in the Forgotten Star and uh I accidentally deleted my save file on stream. That was on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash gotta be frank, just remove the E. Because someone took it. You know what? Not gonna lie, that made for a pretty good moment on the stream. That was pretty funny. Try to speed run the game. <laughs> no, I don't know if I can. I'm not a forces speedrunner. I know uh, a friend of mine tried uh, speedrunning forces. And he was pretty good at it. Yeah, I would say go follow my Twitch. I'm about. Uh, I'm gonna start streaming there again. Uh, somewhat soon. Just gotta get the YouTube stuff uh, taken care of. Music just gets so good. Yeah, he's good at it. The level enforcers are like two minutes long. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Maybe like one that's about three minutes, if you're lucky. Is this a T-Lips remix? 
I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, t does some great work. This one's so good. If I stay above water, I get the cool, like, moon background. You love the music too much? There's no such thing as too much when it comes to this music. No such thing. Okay, hold on. I can get above the water. Alright, cool. That's a Knuckles route. Episode 2 is a better Sonic 4 episode, but it's still not that great of a game. For the visual style of Mania. Mm. With the visual style, uh, I mean, at that point, you might as well just play any Sonic Mania mod that exists. Alright, you just wait for someone to mod it. And then if you put in, like, Mania's physics, you break the game completely. It... Wait, Lopez? What? I thought it was Lopes. It's an S, not a Z. Sonic 4 Episode 2 over CD. Well, that's an interesting one. We're getting some interesting hot takes today. I know that was a thing I did before, but... I don't know if my takes can compare to some of the ones in the chat. Sonic 4 is uninspired. That's all of Sonic 4. Like, the entirety of that... All, that entire game is uninspired. It's all derivative of stuff that already exists. Which, like, the whole uh, thing of it supposedly uh, being pitched as a mobile game first kind of makes sense because that's some... Okay. That's somewhere where you can, uh, can kind of lean more on nostalgia and it would work because you're not expecting those kind of games to be good. And Sonic 4 would have just been... It would have been a fine game for mobile. But no, it had to come to consoles and be called Sonic 4. What if someone made a mod Sonic 4 but CD past and future mechanics? That would be a lot to take into consideration. Because then you'd have to, like, um... You have to create, like, palettes for, uh... For two other time periods. I know they did... Uh, someone did that with Sonic 2 a long time ago. But it still looked like it was a challenge to put together. Oh, that's not fun. No, stop it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you have to do, like, completely new models. Yeah, I love this background right here. Like, the moon up there? Love it. Can I break through this? No, I cannot. Labyrinth is at night? Uh, if it's not, then something is wrong, because Starlight Zone starts at night. It is probably your internet. Or it could just be YouTube throwing a fit with uh, how the stream looks. I don't know, I thought about streaming in 1080p, but I don't think that it would have been a bad idea to try it with this stream. Maybe a another time. With a, consist a consistent day to night cycle. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, it kind of does. Using the water as platforms. Nice. I could use more of this. Okay, so somebody was mentioning, like, uh, Sonic 1 Remastered in Mania. If it was all done like this, I would have so much fun with it. Still gonna say, Labyrinth Zone is not a labyrinth. Oh no, it wasn't that. It's that uh, some of them are like Knuckles exclusive, so I wasn't going to be able to go through that unless I played as Knuckles. That's what happens sometimes. So that might have been it. Perfect. There was another Labyrinth Zone mod that had like another t uh, uh remix, and it was so cool. Yeah, no boss, unfortunately. 
How would Labyrinth, uh, Labyrinth transition into Starlight? I would probably go with... Um, probably a similar transition from like Hydro City to uh, Marble Garden, where the water just launches uh, Sonic up. I'd probably do something like that, but it would just launch them like diagonally towards like a city. I'll go Aquatic Ruin. This actually looks pretty good. Ew. Aquatic Ruin is not... Like, I don't know. I, I don't really care for the zone very much. It's kind of just there for me. Oh, I didn't do the... That's what they needed to add. Add a corkscrew to the level in Sonic 2. That would have made it fun. Yeah, we're doing like the only Sonic Mania mod I could get working. Uh, I was waiting for the little. Uh, they're called wisps, but it's like the little fire, uh, the little fly things. Like those are annoying to put up with. What is exactly a starlight zone? It's always during nighttime. So many answers to little questions. It's like a. It's just a city. You're kind of going like over a, a just your standard city. But yeah, you're just kind of going over a city, and it looks really nice. Construction zone of the city. There you go. Oh, that's gonna. I was like, that's gonna be too short. Yeah, that explains the scaffolding. Okay, I love the little gradient that it does, where it goes from like blue to like almost like almost black, but it's like a dark blue. I, I think that does look really good. All right, it turns out the bubble shield works. Oh, so much for the bubble shield. There we go. Starlight Zone Gotham City. Is that where Sonic meets Joker? Uh, the original Sonic 2 Aquatic Ruin without hitting the water. I feel like I have at some point. How much has been played so far? We've played the majority of this hack, uh, or of this mod. We played a Sonic Generations mod. We played three Sonic uh, Adventure mods. We played Sonic Rush 3D. Uh, I was throwing out the idea of playing SRV2 Kart. You know, just for a little bit. Just as an idea. I will have to depart for now, but hopefully you enjoy yourself. And Thank you so much, uh, Mary. Uh, for those who don't know, Retro Mary is one of the one of a few VTubers that I've met since I have started my own little VTuber endeavor on Twitch. Uh, I trust trust me, it's not cringe. It's actually kind of cool. I like the I, I like the idea behind it. Like the like everything that kind of goes in the background or behind the scenes with it. It's actually really cool, and I've kind of had a good time doing like VTuber stuff. And okay, so this is something I want to bring up. I have this little thing for uh, possibly maybe a VR a VR stream. I won't do it today because I don't know how to set it up. But once I learn how to set it up, uh, surprise! We got an unboxing. Hey, this is my Meta Quest Two. Ryan Rolfs, how's it going? It's my my one patron on Patreon.com/slash Gotta Be Frank. How you doing? So yeah, I could do VR stuff now for streaming. But I gotta learn how it works. This isn't the 16. Oh no, no, we're gonna get to it soon. That's the game we're gonna wrap up with. Oh god, where'd the other chef go? There it is. Not a fan of YouTubers. It's fine. I understand it's not for everyone. Uh, I did it because I thought it was interesting. Basically, if YouTubers like the you 
you basically have an avatar instead of like a webcam. And for some people, it's a little easier to go and speak into a microphone with that stuff instead of being like on camera like how I am right now. Other times, they just want to play as a character, and that's totally fine. And, you know, they kind of create their own lore with their character, or it's just like how I do things, and it's just me. That's, lit that's literally all that it is. It's just me. I just have an avatar for it. Once again, shout out to Codename Gamma. Uh, she made my VTuber avatar for me. And actually <laughs> made it so I can use that avatar in uh, VR chat. Which was kind of, which was like really cool. I didn't know how cool that thing would be uh, un until I was playing it in VR. Anyways, uh, this is uh, Sonic Mania Misfits pack. Uh, it's like a lot of the zones that aren't as popular, but given their own little uh, level pack, and it's really cool. I believe there's more coming to it at some point, but I don't know when. A prototype for Hydro City, if you didn't know. Oh, neat. Yeah, the webcam is fed into a VTuber model. Like, the VTuber model is like, um, whatever program you're using, it will translate what you're doing on camera to that model. So there's always, like, a, a bit of delay. Oh. Okay. It's still a webcam in a way. Just, you know, without the inconsistent lighting, if it's possible, or, like, the lower quality, because you could have, like, a high-quality... Uh, VTuber avatar, and the tracking could be, like, really good. RHS turned into a VTuber for a joke. Yeah, and I did it for real. See, Red Hot Sonic? I commit to it. Good thing about Sonic CD is the music. Also, the cutscenes. The cutscenes are pretty good, too. Uh, some of the levels are nice. Like, Quartz Quadrant and, um... I think Quartz Quadrant is, like, my favorite one. And, uh, Tidal Tempest. Those ones are actually pretty good for what they are. Will I be able to do a VR chat stream like with like Dylan? Um, I can ask him how that works because I don't know how it how to do it. Did you play the Sonic Mania? Up oh, Sonic Origins update. Uh, not yet. But how do? Oh, oh, this needs to be censored. Hold on, I gotta censor this. This can't be on stream. I'm gonna get demonetized. Um, hold on. I, I can't show this. Too many innocent people are going to look at this and be like, what is going on here? And it's like, I can't. How do I blur stuff? Oh, I don't have that effect. Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> I forgot the screen existed. <laughs> I forgot I don't have a blur effect for uh, OBS because you have to add it in. <laughs> They fixed the Blue Spheres music not speeding up bug. Okay, I have to look into that then. What's the opposite word for wonderful? There's a lot. No blur, no blur, no blur, no blur. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but my dog just jumped in my face and hit my glasses. Oof. Uh, big oof, actually. And I think we have Wacky Workbench as the final one. I don't like Wacky Workbench very much. I'm sorry. I think this is also, like, one level. Remember that image? Scarier than a uh, Five Nights at Freddy franchise. Oh, that's a new one. It adds a big one. I actually like that. It looks pretty sick. Yeah, CD's version of uh, Wacky Workbench is pretty bad. And... I, I know for sure that no one can tell me skill issue because I literally beat it with a stupid uh, self-imposed challenge. So I win. Except in that moment. Can I... There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh! What, oh! Oh, there's a big ring. That's cool. And that's the only thing cool about it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> It's actually kind of cool. You don't think it's as bad as people say? I've experienced it, so <laughs> I've experienced uh, wacky workbench more than I should, more than I ever needed to. So, 
But you know what? To each their own. It's actually much better than the little rolling thing from the actual game. For anyone to answer, how how do you wrote Sonic Forces? That game I continue to uninstall. I'm not a big fan of Forces, like... It's like all the things I didn't like about Sonic Colors, just a little bit more. Oh, I had completely forgotten about this. Then don't download it again. I mean, I have to I had to do it for a stream. I have never bought a copy of Sonic Forces at full price. Like, I always bought it on a sale. You have other good games to play? Absolutely, I have a lot of other good games to play. Uh, and a lot of them I still need to get back to playing. Oh wait, I wonder if I could show an, uh, a mod from A Hat in Time that's Sonic themed. I mean, it exists. Wasn't Forces never fully priced? You know, you know what I mean. Like the full forty dollars that it costs. Like I never paid that much for it. I always paid like thirty or twenty for it. Oh, it's just flying battery. It's got the flying battery gimmicks. That's actually kind of cool. Pretty smart how they uh, how they incorporate that. I uh, got Forces on Switch for your birthday a couple years ago. Ah, okay. I, I did the same thing because I wanted to, uh, I wanted uh, to try out Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD, and I saw that and the Sonic Forces combo thing. I was like, oh, I might as well. I can use them both for content, and I only used one for content. No, not it being sixty dollars. I, I would never pay for Sonic Forces at sixty dollars. I think those lasers were actually in the original Wacky Workbench. Oh, no, no, I'm saying like the platforms that raise up to the, uh, those platforms raising up. Like, that's from, uh, that's Mania's, uh, Flying Battery. You got Forces in 2019 Christmas. Okay. I got it for, uh, like, shortly after I started the channel, because I thought it was going to actually do well like the Sonic Mania stuff was. How wrong I was. Did have Pineapple Forces, though. That was pretty funny. By the way, this is the only way to beat the boss. Just knock it down. And try to keep it from hitting the top, otherwise you're gonna be dealing with this. But when it hits the when it hits the bottom, just keep bumping it. Oh, that's not good. I I went for that too early. Bump the bottom. Bump the bottom. And try not to do that. You always play as a super character to beat it, but then you have the chance of, um, you have the possibility of going right into the, underneath the spikes and getting crushed. Remember, that was the thing I kept doing early on. There we go. Oh, when they thought the Upside Down Eggman was its own character? That would have been sick. It was like, oh, new character in the series. Eggman's got a, a niece or something. When you finish Mania, you can check. Can you check if you have a force to save? Because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. If not, I'm gonna have to make one. I can check if I have one. Oh, Sonic dies. 
All right. Uh, I will check. So that was the Misfits pack. Um, hopefully we see more from it in the future. Anyways, I need to check and see if I have a forces save file. Uh, open up the high. edge mod manager again. Open up forces. Save and play. They'll make a new character. They'll make a new character of anything. See, that's the that's the plus side, but that's also that's a plus, but that's also a negative. They'll make a character out of anything. Mostly a plus, though. Do I have Sonic Adventure Two with Adventure One level mods? No, I don't. I didn't even know those were. I think I only knew of Emerald Coast, and that was it. Seems like I do have one. Oh, that's right. I gotta switch from retro engine to this one. There we go. Yeah, I think I. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. It has the uh, the whole level, the whole game beaten. It crashed. What happened? Did I? Um. Okay then. No, I don't have any mods enabled. I have the uh the uh Fright Frenzy demo for um Sonic Forces Overclocked, but I have it uh I disabled it. That's a new one. All right, so I will need a little bit to download a uh, to download a a mod, basically. Let's see, let's get some music going. It's crazy because with the mod, I actually had it working. I don't know what the difference is now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have... For some reason... Okay, well, my internet speed apparently is pretty fast. That's cool. Recently updated uh, routers, so I guess it works better a bit faster because I was not expecting that to download in just a few seconds aqua road all right cool just making sure all that's taken care of uh hey Victor what's good is that Pokemon music no this is uh it's uh sonic colors I think it is. Wait, no, I, I'm sure of it. Hold on, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's Planet Wisp. <laughs> okay, you're getting me to doubt this stuff. I'm not as familiar with colors as I am with the rest of the series. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, do you have the save file redirection? Oh, that might be it. Okay. I'm gonna try and disable that and see what that does. Oh, <laughs> it's not responding. I need a moment. Oh, keep it enabled. Okay. I don't understand what happened to the save file. Mm. But we will pause the music for now. Put in Aqua Road. See how this goes. 
Dang it, it's doing the video thing again. So, Sonic Forces does this thing on PC all the time. Uh, I think there is a cheat to fix it, but it didn't work for me. Uh, and it cha it messes with the resolution. Let's see. Oh, Sophia, how's it going? Oh, reimagined. Ooh. I like the logo. It's like purple, and it's nice. I do that, go back, and it's all fixed. Please work. <laughs> okay, then. It crashed. Let me try the other... Let me try the one mod I got working with it. Okay, I'll try, I'll try using your save instead. Let's get that... Get forces out of here. Let's get that out of here. Um, where do I need to put the save at? Game apps, common, Sonic Forces. Okay. Sonic Forces. Is it just in the directory that says Sonic Forces? Sounds like it shouldn't be possible, but okay. All right. I'm going to close and reopen the uh, hedge mod manager in case. Just covering all my bases on this. Okay. I'm going to put Aqua Road. In. Wait, what? I play Sonic on play games at. Oh, the Mega Play Sonic 1. I like that. That's actually really cool. Um. For anybody who has a Nintendo Switch, Sega Age of Sonic 1 uh, has the Mega Play version of it. It's such a cool version of the game to play. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Ghost, how's it going? How are you doing today? Let's hope this works. I'm hoping it does. And we gotta fix the resolution again, because, of course... Sonic Forces has to be a special has to be a special case about this. Mysterious dog, I thought you were uh I thought you left already. Could have sworn you mentioned leaving a long time ago. Played in played at the mall. Nice. I would love to come across a uh a mega play arcade. There we go. I'm gonna move it to the side so I can read the chat. Sega uh, didn't take it down when Origins released. No, no, uh, they kept the Sega Ages stuff up. Anything that's like a standalone release uh, that isn't Sega Ages or the uh, Nintendo Switch Online versions, those got to stay up, but everything else went away. Try beating the EXE with a hammer. It crashed again. Okay, let me try the one mod that I got working. I don't understand your save file and everything. Uh, okay, let's see. If Wait, where would my save file be? I, I don't know the stuff. Wait. I have two mod files for Sonic Forces. Okay, maybe that's what's going on. I'm getting frustrated at this. Okay, let's grab these mods. Let's put them in the actual mod folder, as opposed to one that I made because I didn't know where it was because I haven't played a Forces mod in months. Maybe if I put it in there, it'll work. I'm getting so frustrated over this. <laughs> it's the stupidest, like, easiest thing that could be done. All right, so I gotta... I gotta do this. Uh, merciless combat on your alt account. I'm gonna say sorry late. Congratulations on five years. 
I, eh, no, no worries. No worries about being late. It's fine. And uh, thank you very much. It's all from a folder. Because I'm not using this one, I have to use this one. Give it a moment to nearly crash and then put everything back. I think I know what I did. I think I put, I made a mod folder in the wrong area. That was my first mistake. Guarantee this, if this works now, I'm going to be annoyed. Oh. That splash screen frame rate. No, I don't have any codes uh, enabled. I had the widescreen fix, but it didn't really do anything for me. So I just kind of left it alone. Like, I'm still getting like the weird uh, aspect ratio when I play at uh, 720 for the stream. If I do that, move this here. Now let's try it. Why is it crashing? What did I do? Oh, wait, save redirection. They have for the Sonic Forces slash save data. Sonic Forces slash save data. Graphics config seem. I have like three files in it, that's why. We'll try it one more time just because I'm, uh, I'm clearly, I clearly don't know the word quit. Whatever has a random string of numbers. Okay. And it's crash. Okay. Good to know. Uh... Random string of numbers. It just says save data XML. Oh, Sonic Forces save data XML and then it and it has XML files. Okay. The definition of insanity. Uh, it's clearly me trying to trying to get stuff to work when it's just not working. Go back here. So this is interesting. Uh, uh, Easter guy, thank you so much. Since 2018, 2019, as you can see, I'm sticking around, enjoying your content. Thank you so much. Really means a lot. There's a random Vaporeon fact. Did you know that I'm just going to get rid of that? Let's just put a ban on that. Oh, okay. So there might be stuff that's corrupted in my save file. I wouldn't be too surprised. It might have been the mod that I played before. Now that I'm thinking about it. Came back what happened oh um the duck dealer is helping me out with my uh with my sonic forces issues so we're just kind of chilling for a bit so did you know when it comes to the ev evolutions espion is the best one uh sylveon is a close second actually i would say umbreon but that's my opinion then sylveon
So, um, yeah. <laughs> Watching Sonic and Shadow Design Smash Bros. videos. Ah, okay. Yeah, I love Espeon's design. I even have a shirt with Espeon, but it's way... Well, it's already... It's too hot to wear, like, any dark-colored shirt. So I probably could have gotten away with it, but I love it. Hmm. I think I'm going to need your Steam... Steam ID. I have no idea. Uh, did the Mania No Badnik video come out? No, I'm working on it this month. Uh, I'm going to try and get it out by the end of the month because getting it by the uh, by the anniversary is going to be impossible. Stream over? No, stream's not over. We're going to be going for a while. It's just... We're trying to get this whole Sonic Forces situation uh, taken care of. We're going to do Sonic Forces, maybe do a little bit of SRB2 cart, and then we'll wrap up with uh, Sonic Triple Trouble, like a full playthrough because I haven't played the game yet. Let's do a poll. This one started an argument. The Sonic Jam video could have been for the anniversary. Yeah, I could have held on to that video for a few more days. Because if I upload during the weekend, more there's a higher chance of people watching it. But now that there isn't, um, it is apparently the worst performing video in that series. All right, Sonic Omega, thanks for coming by. I hope you have a good day. Sonic Forces might be corrupted or something. Uh, okay, I would have to try to... All right, we are going to be very... Gonna verify the integrity of the files on this thing. Mm -hmm. Basically, if something's wrong with this, uh, I'll have not corrupted files. Hopefully. I'm glad my internet is fast enough to get it, get this all working. What are your thoughts on Dorkly Sonic animations? Personally, don't like the way his mouth moves. I mean, it's... It is what it is. It's mostly done for comedy. It's not supposed to be, like, the greatest looking thing in the world. successfully validated. Okay. Now that it's all been validated, let's try it again. This will be the last time. If it doesn't work, we'll just move on. This is getting very exhausting. <laughs> I hope this works. Yeah, well, Sonic Speed Strats is wrong. <laughs> no, a couple of my friends worked on that, so it's cool. It's a good series. Of course, it's still being uncooperative. Uh, to, so far, yes, we'll see how it is. I had to verify the integrity of the files on this. If it doesn't work this time, then I think uh, oh, whoops, we'll switch we'll switch games because it's kind of holding up the stream and it crashes. Yeah. Hmm. What's
run some stuff in the Discord. We're good. Okay. It's fine. Okay. After that, you should be able to just put the file it takes out into the save data folder. The name is save data.xml. You should rename it to that. Okay. Uh, so is it out.xml or is it, uh, let me pull the music back up. I'm guessing it's out.xml. One more time, with feeling. Checking everything. Save and play. All right. Famous words before disappointment. If that's if that's how it goes, that's how it goes. You can't predict all of it. Anyone know how to play Sonic Heroes on computer? I actually had it on a. I had it. I have the disc for it, so I was able to run it off that. And then there's like a different way of doing it. I don't remember what it's called because I haven't played Sonic. Uh, What do you call it? Um, I haven't played Heroes in a long time. Okay. Someone heading out? Oh. Alright, Linux dude. Thanks for coming by. Hope you have a good one. Double check that I'm on the right one. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I, I played uh, Fright Frenzy. That's what I played recently. I have a, did that did that corrupt my Sonic Forces save? Save redirection was on. Yes, it was. But for for whatever reason, it doesn't. Aqua Road doesn't have a, a save redirection. It overwrote my save. Oh no! Okay, that explains a lot. I think we're just done with forces for today. I'm sorry. That was not supposed to happen. So, uh, I think we'll move on from forces. Uh, Duck Dealer, thank you so much for, uh, for trying. I didn't know that was going to, uh, going to be a potential, I didn't think that was going to potentially mess things up, but apparently it did. So, oh, well, we can, we can move on. It's a shame because I wanted to show off some cool mods on it that I had. Sonic 3. I don't have much for Sonic 3. I also have like three instances of the hedge mod manager. I don't know why. Let's play a racing game. Hmm. Anyone know of the Sonic Flash online game, which has actual 2D games? Sonic. Oh, you mean those online emulators? Uh, 
Technically, they're not supposed to be around, but they are. I just don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know what uh, they do with those. So I uh, hate to say this, but the chat's going to be a little hard to uh, to read because SRB2 likes to be SRB2, or SRB2 cart likes to be itself. So I'm going to have it on my phone. So I can at least see the chat somehow. Those emulators, I see them a lot. You can look them up. Uh, I'm not going to look them up. I'd rather not like show how to get to those emulators because it's technically not something I want to do. Speed up. We're doing this last minute, so... Oh, wow, that actually works. Sweet. But yeah, I don't want to, like, show how to get to those. Otherwise, you know, that doesn't really look good for me. When she get copyright strikes? Probably. Like, if I was just saying, like, oh, go to this website and this is how you do it. Like, that's not cool. I don't know how to look at menus, apparently. Multiplayer. Let me do this in case any sensitive information comes out. It's in the event that any sensitive information is shown. Why? Because I'm paranoid. Uh, gotta find red. Gotta play as a red boy. There we go. Okay, actually no, we just have regular server browsers to go through. So, uh, I'm going to sort by ping just because I, you know, I don't want to play on something with, like, really bad lag. And there's a lot of empty servers we can go on, so I want to see what's possible. I might go for, like, middle of the U.S. Um, do you have custom skins in SRB2? No. I'm playing SRB2 cart. I don't have any of those uh, custom skins. What is that? It is a racing game that uses the engine of SRB2, and it's like its own Mario Kart clone, and it's really good. So, uh... Let's see. Let's... I should not go with something that's, uh... All right, you know what? Uh, New Lunar Republic 1, we'll go there. So, you know, this is the one we're going to play on. God, never mind. Never mind. That is way... Okay, I, I... is there any, like, way to show, like, a vanilla server... Hmm. Trying to find something that doesn't like have horrible ping in the event that other people come and play. Oh yeah, there's ones there's all these ones that have mods on it. Is like every server a modded server? Good lord. So there's mods no matter what. Oh, you found the issue? Versus Chaos. Okay. I must have played that at some point. Mm. Are these, like, really all just different mods? Uh, I don't get, like, a vanilla mod. Or a vanilla... Um, No vanilla servers? Are you serious? 
Yeah, they're talking about forces. We'll go to Carts R Us. Fine, Carts R Us. That's where we're gonna go, cause I'm I, I don't wanna The amount of modded stuff, whatever. I know modded is great, but it'd be nice to just have a vanilla server just around, but oh well. Republic, I think Star Wars Galactic Republic, Old Republic from the Star Wars movies. I think of Knights of the Old Republic, the uh, PC game. That's a cool game. Sorry for asking a lot of questions. It's fine. It's fine. And there's a chance I did not disable or I did not enable um, save redirection for forces and it probably saved over it. I think that's the problem. <sighs> Everything was supposed to go seamless. Uh, carts are us. That's the name of the server. Eh, it is toasty in here. I'm like sweating like crazy. That's the old Republic 1 and 2 on your iOS device. Pretty great game, IMO, and favorite era. Those games happened 40 years after the Tale of the Jedi comics from the 90s. Oh, okay. Um, I have I never really got into Star Wars. I have a couple games, but that's about it. Was never really into the, the movies, because it didn't interest me very much. On sweat. I can't do that unless it's like the winter. If it was the winter and it was cold and I would be loving it because then it would be nice and warm in here. But no, it's the summer and it happens to be like, what, 80 something degrees? It happens to be 86 degrees right now. And I have windows closed. So it makes it worse in here. Send help. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to eventually be able to play. Got four files to go. That's Mario Kart 64. Kill on hit. In the pole, Hydrocity is 69. Nice. By the way, I have not played this game in a long time, so I don't... I'm gonna be garbage at it. Alright, thanks for coming by, Duck Dealer. I just sent you a fix. You can put that in whenever you feel like returning to forces. We can do forces afterwards. If this doesn't go well, I'll go to forces, and then we'll go to triple trouble. That's from Wipeout. I can't play that. This was a bad idea. What am I doing? 300 ping. What am I doing here? If this doesn't go well, I'm just going to play SRB2. Right 
Oh, wow, you get a meter for this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, well, that sucked. Okay, then. But. Okay, that that's kind of cool. No. Oh. The room is called Carts R Us. I don't know how I'm. Oh, there are no edges on it. There's no. Oh. Okay, I kind of get this, and it's like a Ganondorf theme. It's like Ganondorf's castle or something. It's actually pretty... Uh, no! Oh! So close. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this one's pretty rough. I don't know if I could bounce back on a level that I've never played on. That's getting very annoying. That sound bite is getting super obnoxious. Those are never going to reach. I'm getting tired of being called criminal scum. It's probably not even me, but still. All the advantages in the world, and I'm still losing this race. Wait, I got it. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Alright, can I at least get second? No! Oh, uh, I don't like this map very much. Or this track. It's just... Way too easy to fall off. I'm gonna lose. Yeah. That gets annoying pretty easily. Not sure if I'm gonna continue with this. Hmm. Yeah, that got really old pretty fast. I'm if I get annoyed by that, I'm just going to move on. Whose voice is that? Oh, you just hit it when you don't have a when you don't have an item. Damn. Why is she 
Why is Chalk in this? I have no idea. Well, this helps a bit. I hate the- I hate the noise of that so much. God, that's getting old so fast. I think I'm done with this. I, uh, I tried everything that I could, but uh, the server's kind of annoying. Okay, I could just steal first place, whatever. Fine, that's cool. <laughs> People use channel points to play the sound for SPB is approaching. If I could try to figure that out, that'd be fun. Oh, there he is. We got one from from the chat uh, playing. I can go close to Temple. Unless we already did that. If we did that, then damn, we're replaying one. Wait, no, this is battle mode. Ew, gross. Uh, I can't undo it. If you were to make a Sonic fan game, 3D or 2D? Probably go with 2D. Am I going to play Astro B2? I probably will. I have like a few mods I can play. Damn. Damn. I have not even seen this map, uh, this track before. I don't even know where I'm going, but it seems to be in the right direction. That's coming right at me. Man, I got like a full I got a full boost on that one. That was pretty sick. Okay, that was too far. I was hoping for a snipe, but that was not gonna work. Uh Okay, they had second so they were able to get through. Never mind. See you later. Here I go. 
Crap. Okay. Give me something good. And I'm so close to stealing first. Damn it. This is kind of just Mario Kart. Yeah, uh, that's the whole idea behind it. By the way, you explode when you get, uh, when you're in absolute last. So that's what happens. Hmm. I'm going random. Uh, it's the same map again, or the same track again. Oh, wait, no. It's, it's the one we played earlier, I think. Okay, no, I just don't know any of the tracks that are in this game, because these none of these are the same. I don't remember the tracks anymore, so whatever. I'm not going to comment on them. Oh, yeah, that's a bunch of bad ideas waiting to happen. I don't know about playing the uh, the mod, like the mods that they use for this. Oh, shoot! Thank you, Sonic Omega. Did I really have that Sonic sound effect? Nice. Oh my God! Get off the wall. That's a bad idea. I know I'm terror immune, but I'm not immune to that. Yeah, this one's not good. Oh, I thought I was going to fall off. I was like, yeah, I, I'm pretty much done. Hey, Martin. <laughs> See you in there. Shoot! Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. Okay, then. Classic Sonic Simulator. Oh. Yeah, 93 files. Trust me, it was, it's a lot. I'm okay with going random. What is this? I don't know what this is. Blaze blue. Just all the levels with tight corners. Or with like the tightest possible turns. Good God.
Yeah, this one's also annoying. It's like, what's with all the... the t oh. Fine. It's like the tightest possible corners to take, and it's the entire track. Oh, God. Oh, that's disgusting. Right, I'm just going to bump on everything, I guess. Wow. That was, uh... I swear to God, this game. It had, like, a little tiny sliver that was enough for me to fall in. Uh, sure, I totally did. I totally meant to do that. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Be careful around here because falling off seems to be inevitable. Yeah, this one's kind of annoying. This is a really annoying uh, track to play on. Yeah, whatever. We'll go a few more. Stupid wipeout music. No, no battle. How did that other racer break away? Uh, I have no idea. Is this directly from a... Why do I feel like this is directly from a SRB2 mod or something? Or SRB2 level. Kind of reminds me of the volcano level that is a huge regret. What? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, hold on. What? No, it just... No, it's Lava Reef. Okay. I couldn't hear the music very well, so I couldn't... I couldn't pick up on that. There's a big ring, see? Like, the music is so quiet in this one. Cool. Uh, 
How did I miss every single one? This game is rigged. It's funny because my ultimate music is like... It's like uh, Sonic CD's like cutscene music compared to... Uh, what the, what the uh, track music would be, which is like super quiet, which would be the rest of Sonic CD's uh, mobile remaster. Well, at least I'm not last, but still, that kind of sucked. Sonic Forces Cutscene and Adventure 1? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Someone pushed them ahead. Oop. Wait, hold on, I got third? Oh, wait, no, that's total ranking, never mind. Uh, <laughs> second place with 250 ping. Holy crap! Okay. We'll do a few more and then we'll just hop into, uh, we'll try to do the Sonic Forces mod again. Dynamite Heady. That's an interesting one. Is that a Windows computer? What is this? I'm confused, actually. Very confused. Oh, damn. I've only played very little Dynamite Heady, so I'm not familiar with it, with the music. I feel so bad for that. Oh, that's even worse. I feel so bad. There's like two people who didn't deserve, deserve it. Oh, no! Oh, come on. Okay, I think I have a for sure second place. Yeah, I got a for sure second place on that one. Okay. Opinion on Better Call, uh, Better Call Cell. Uh, I've heard about it a lot. I've never played it. Or watched it, sorry. We've been talking about games all day, so. I've never seen it. I've never seen Bre uh, Breaking Bad. Although I probably should. A friend of mine's really huge into it. Round 
Grounded. Here we go. Grounded. Oh, thank you, Sonic Omega. So we'll do a, f a couple more races, and then we'll, we'll call it like three more races, and then I might do a few levels in SRB2 if I still have the mods available. I haven't played them in a long time, so I don't know. I think I still have um, is that character from the IDW comics, the new one that people like, the green one. I'm saying because I really don't remember the names. Sound design is hilarious. It's a... Uh, it's a uh, Carts R Us if you want to find the server. Burning Bone? Sure. I'll entertain the idea of any of these tracks. Can you play private server on Roblox, though? I, I actually don't know how to do that. Not much of a Roblox person, even though I, I have been trying to keep up with the Speed Simulator events, but I've missed, like, the last two. Surge, there you go. Some games don't cost a Roblox. Uh, yeah, I know, I just haven't played it in a long time. Oh, this looks sick. I like... These are Mario Six. These are Mario Kart fireballs. Oh God! See you later. I think. I <laughs> do we still have that Windows? Uh, do we still have like the Windows ninety five uh, player or Windows eleven player or whatever? I hear that, and I hear something that sounds similar to like. Uh, like the Mac um, sound effect when you turn it on. Oh, okay. You got your OBS ready for what? What's going on with OBS? Oh, shoot. Is this a racing game or Mad Max? Yes. I'm just bad at both. Oh. This is a bad time to do this. Whatever. Gotta make a payoff. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Let's go. No. Oh. I saved myself. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this, and then I'm gonna use it. Like now. Oh, the level is just falling up. The track is falling apart or like morphing. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, this isn't it is actually intense. Oh no, come on. Don't do this to me. Okay then. <laughs> that was actually cool. That was actually a cool one. I like that. It was just morphing as the whole thing was going. D A B S C S S and S S S. I have no idea. You're gonna make collab? Oh, it's bone shaped. I didn't even notice that. Oh, still, that that's a cool map. I like that one. You don't know what DABS is? I I don't know either. I don't play Roblox regularly. I know of a first person shooter that's on there, but I don't play it anymore. Let's do two more. Yeah, that was a fun one. I'm going to go random. The Amazing Bunker Simulator. Oh, okay. Yeah, not interested. Curbside Ice Cream. How's it going? How are you doing today? 
I'm reading my chat, so, you know, because it's on my phone. <gasps> I don't know what I did. What? Wait, 50? Why? Who would make 50 laps? You monster. Oh, this totally wouldn't make anyone uh, dizzy. Is it dawn of the final day? Oh shoot, I screwed up. Oh, I'm glad I didn't hit my own banana, essentially. Oh my god! What is this track? Uh, well, okay. No, stop that. Oh, it's eliminating players. Okay. Oh my god, really? Oh, I died. That's interesting. <laughs> you got canceled. No. <laughs> that is actually such a cool concept. What game is next? Uh, I have SRB2. We can do a few mods off of that. <laughs> that was pretty sick. <laughs> Bell Taco. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> so it was like elimination style. All right, we'll do two more. I thought we played Roblox, uh, CSS or SSS. I have, I haven't played, um, fine. I'll do Angel Island. Jeez. Okay, I know what SSS is. I don't... Oh, Classic Sonic Simulator. Right. Yeah, I don't think I've... I haven't played that one in a long time. I don't think I'm going to be playing anything Roblox related today. Of course I'm... Of course I'm the one. Dang, bugged. Boost mechanics. I... That's evil. Whoever whoever put all those bananas there, I, I hope your pillow is constantly warm. Will I have a stream related to it one day? Probably. I, I don't know. I'm not too big on Roblox. But, you know, I, I'll always consider it. This remix is pretty good. Oh, get 
up in the water. I really just in last place? Yeah, I think I'm going to be. I'm getting lapped by everyone. I hate how I'm just bouncing on everything. Yeah, forget it. This one's already done. Oh, come on. Whatever. That was stupid. All right. Got one more in me. Did you hear from Luigi from Double Dash? Yeah, you did. No, oh, I guess I wasn't in last, but still, like, wait, there's 10 people. Okay. Do something easy. Yeah, I don't know any of the extra things are adding to this. You know what? Kiss my... I have Mario World sound effects. I was a little late. I was late to that one. I was not near it. Screw you. No, go the other way. Oh my god. I was literally going left. I was trying to like to make the left turn. Uh. Stop bumping everything, Jesus Christ. What's even got the act two music? I think it's faster than my invincibility. Damn. Oh, it's a spring ball. Okay. Oops. 
three thunder shields in a row. Okay, that's that's broken. All right, I think I'm going to back out. Yeah, I think that's it for, for SRP2 card. I, that, uh, I need more practice with that, but that game is still cool. Uh, oh yeah. Wait, didn't... Oh, it changes. That's so weird. I'm trying a new thing with this. Okay. Trying a new thing. I'm using my an, an old phone as a webcam, so... I think the quality is a little better. As you can see... Yeah, actually it is. It's a lot better. Huh. Alright, then. Much better than using my webcam. <laughs> Not so fast lives up to the name. <laughs> it's all right. Um, SRB, the SRB2 cart plan, like, idea was there, but it was, like, super uh, last minute on when we should act, what I should be playing. Let me switch music. I... Whatever. I'm whatever with this music. Uh... Oh, wait, I remember. Um, we got to try that Forces mod to see if it actually works. What do I do? Oh. Okay. Uh, all right, so... Drop this into Steam Apps Sonic Forces. Mods. And then, uh, if not, then run it through XOR, then do that. Road has load in terrain at the start. Loading sectors aren't done yet. Probably some collision bugs. Keep an eye out for cool background stuff. All right, cool. Got a couple things to keep an eye on for this one, so... Hey, uh, Steven Telly. Maybe not a cool thing to be uh, posting that. My save data on the line. My save data was already on the line. Refresh. I should restart it. Why does it say three mods? Lo uh, it's probably like how many are loaded in the mod manager. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to turn off that. Okay. Oh, I have no music playing. Okay, then. what I do? Save and play? Cool. Bring this up. Do that. Put it away. I have to bring back my... Sonic Forces one. Let's hope this works. This is the Aqua uh, Aqua Road uh, mod from the Duck Dealer. We're trying to get one more time. If not, I'm just going to give up on this. So, save redirect is on, right? Save file redirection. Okay, this should all work properly. Please. No. What if I hit new game? I didn't even think about it. All right. Well, I think some. Whatever. I'm just going to move on. Duck Dealer, thank you for trying. Uh, I guess Sonic Forces wanted to be the problem game for today. So, we're just going to move on to SRB2. Cuz I'm pretty exhausted of uh trying to make trying to make it work. Mm. Oh, I only have 2.8. So, hopefully that's not a problem. Oh no, 2.9. Never mind.
I apparently have 2.9. That's cool. Hmm. Games. I'm gonna have to bring up. There we go. All right, let's see what we can get working. God, I'm, I'm. And the thing is, I still have to do uh, Sonic Triple Trouble, which I might have to take a break for before I get started on that, because I'm getting pretty exhausted. Add-ons. Hmm. Mods, okay. Uh go surge. Go with that one. We'll do some custom levels. Now I think I only played some of these. Or just a teeny tiny bit. I guess I've never played this. All oh, right, this one had like the really good music. I want to go to the higher ones, I hope. I can go to these. Go to something zone. Why is Surge in the game? Because I modded Surge to be in the game. What? It's a 2D level! That's new. Oh, I love that ability. Ah, stop doing that. I've never seen this level before, so I'm seeing all of this for the first time. Uh, do I go this way? Oh, there's platforms. Okay, I get it now. Does it have good physics? It's It gets the job done. Alright, Martin, thanks for coming by. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. This is kind of cool. Ah, stop doing that. Okay. Did I go all the way to the beginning of the level? Yeah, I kind of just did. Yeah, I did. Wait, what does that say? Software mode is heavily recommended. Uh, never had a real Sega game? Really? That's interesting. Oh! Oh, so it's like a little bit of everything. That's what this is. It's so weird to play an SRB2 level that's just pure 2D. 2.5D, but 2D nonetheless. Oh, this is sick. Oh, you can even jump into the background. What is that? I'll collect one of those. Thank you. I like this. It's not the most difficult thing, but it's just fun to play. As I make mistakes like that. Good to know. All right, then. Oh, 
you can break through it. Uh, excuse me? Game? Okay, cool. Clone oil vibes, 2D sprites on 3D models. I guess it's something like that. Clone oil, by the way, play it if you haven't. It's actually pretty neat. I'm gonna take this top pat, uh, the top. I'll take the springs. So I feel like this is where it really wants me to go. Yeah, it was gonna take me here. Oh, God. Clonoa is pretty good. What the hell, game designers? I think it was intended for me to go at a much faster speed, but I didn't. Oh, this is sick! Uh, oh, I'm supposed to hold uh, le uh, right still. Okay, that's not very well explained. Okay. Jeez! Oh, man, that was so cool. Is Surge an OC? Surge is a character from the IDW comics. So no, the character is a, uh, is official. Let me guess, volcano. Oh no no, uh, yeah, the canyon stuff. Oh, I'm so glad that saves me. Let's go. No, don't go. We can go, but not too far. I have to fall. Oh yeah, I do have to fall. I just didn't trust it at all. Now it's the volcano. No! Oh! <laughs> I was like right in the right in the crack for that. That's so cool. Does it include Kit's character? I I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. I'm not caught up on the comics at all. Like, I'm so far behind because... I, I can't get into comic books. Dang, I tried. I really tried on that one. This level's pretty sick. I like it. Oh, that was the end of it. Okay, I thought for a moment, I thought I was stuck. When is the next stream going to be? I have no idea. Uh, because I want to get caught up on YouTube videos before I think about streaming again. Because I don't want it where streams seem like it's like a cop out to not make a video. And there's some important videos I need to make this month. Let's go to digital... This is Deluge. It's digital. We're going with it. I think he can play as Amy. Oh, this is trippy. No, no. Okay. Why? I went in with too much on that one. Thoughts, opinion on Roblox FPS? I don't really play them very much. I know of like three. There we go. Use their abilities to their fullest. Uh, I don't play them a lot. I, I'm just not into Roblox anymore. Cause like, I play. I have like a backlog of games that I need to start playing, and like Roblox was kind of making it hard to get back, uh, get into those games. 
Ooh, this is nice. Oh, jeez. Okay, then. I guess I had to wait on that one. No! Oh my god. Stop doing that where there's always a gap in between. Level designers, quit doing that. Jesus Christ. I'm getting so sick of this. So I know what to do, is just jump. There we go, that's how I do it. And then avoid this one, because apparently the gaps like being everywhere. And jump here. Wait, I thought you had to like, oh. Uh. I'm always taught to just let go, uh, don't touch the, uh, the control stick when you have, uh, when you hit a spring, but apparently now you have to. Yeah, the Knuckles Chaotic stream was pretty interesting. I did not think I would actually get all, uh, get everything for the, wait, did I get, I don't remember what I got, if I got all the, uh, the rings or whatever I needed for that. I think I just beat the boss and I was like, yeah, I, I don't want to do that again. I'm going to defeat this thing. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Fine, I guess I go I go here, I run to it, I hit it. Now what? Okay, and then I go through here. Emeralds and special states are my favorite about Chaotix. They were really... It was actually a cool concept. Shh, come on. God. I'm stuck at the same stupid thing again. I'm, I'm getting really tired of playing this. I think I'm ready to just not... I'm ready to move on. Could be the fact that I've been... Really? Oh, and then I waste it. It could be the fact that I've been streaming for about almost three and a half hours, and I normally don't stream this long. Thank you, game. Thank you for showing mercy for once. Okay. Oh, okay, I get it now. This is pretty bad. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Oh my god, this is so stupid. Uh. Alright, Esta guy, thanks for coming by.
I don't jump high enough for this. You can't be serious. I swear to God, this level is freaking dumb. I'm just going to not do this level. I have to hit the spring to go through a hole, but that hole is not that easy to do. So I'm not even going to bother with that one. Because... The, spin da uh, the jump is not high enough to make it most times, and the spin dash is really weird. Yeah, I'm just moving on. I'm not going to like let a level stall me for too long. It's not worth playing through. Is Modern Sonic in this game as a mod? There is a mod for him, but that's Are you serious? Oh my god, really? And I get stuck on the wall. Typical. Oh, that saved me. I've never seen this level, so... Uh, I mean, they tried. The loop didn't exactly work as intended. Hi. I was going to say, why? No, seriously, why? I appreciate what they're trying to do. That's what I'll say. I appreciate what they're going for. What? No running, skateboarding, shop, shoplifting, or tricky. Or I don't know what the last one was. I am so confused as well. This is Content ID City right here. Probably. I don't care anymore. Are you serious? I got turned around, really. I'm so Oh, uh, this is so stupid. Can I just get a straightforward level? Because anytime the game tries anything unique, it's like ruined. By the fact that it's this game trying something, someone trying something unique. Also, the slope is messing me up. That's cool. Mm. God. I 
don't want to be in this level anymore. Okay, can the slope not be the worst thing in the world? Jesus. That's enough of that. I'd rather not. I think I'm just ready to start wrapping up. So, the last game we're going to play is, uh, is going to be, uh, Sonic Triple Trouble, the 16, the 16 bit remix, or uh, remix, remake, whatever. I don't care anymore. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. God, really? Whatever. We'll use this one. So I'm going with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio just because I think it looks nice. And I get a little bit more to see. And this game is loud as hell, of course. But yeah, I'm going with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio on this one. Uh, so, I know very little about this, but I've heard good things about it. So, yeah. That's how we're going to wrap up today's stream, because I'm tired. Go main game. Go story. We're going to go with a new one. Oh, so it's just the uh, ending of uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Okay. I guess it happens after uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Really? Why is... Why was it hold... Why was it, like, gravitating me towards it? No, it's not an EXE game. If it was, I wouldn't be playing it. Doesn't seem like the D-pad's uh, working out very well for me. For whatever reason, it was pulling my... It was just, like, messing with my input. Do I hate EXE games in general? Yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. I think they're kind of dumb. And they're all kind of the same to me. Why is my... Why is my movement so limited? It's almost like the D-pad is, like, analog control. It's like the game's trying to pull me in different direction. Like, I'll hold left and it's trying to pull me to the, um, to the right. It's so weird. So now I gotta... Don't tell me I have to use the analog stick for, for movement. 
That'd be really stupid. There we go, Sonic Triple Trouble. Uh, I'm holding right. All right, guess I'm going analog stick. That's awful. Analog stick with 2D games is disgusting. Uh, you don't have the per you don't get like precise left and right movement with it because you could accidentally hit diagonal at some point so it just feels awful to use in general oh you can curl into a ball nice That wasn't satisfying at all. Wow, that is, uh... That was not satisfying in the slightest. Hey, Brit, awesome. How's it going? What's this? Oh, what a sweet. Oh my god, did I drop? I drop dashed over it. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what is down here? Oh, it's just. I'm going backwards. Okay. Wait. I saw that. Little hop. There it is. All right, first special stage. I don't know how these work. Uh, I think I kind of got the, I got the idea of it now. So I'm just racing. Oh, okay. So those will slow me down. It's starting to come back to me. Ah, oh, dang it. Hold on, what? You even go on a plane. All right, that's pretty sick. I don't get that, but okay. I got my first emerald though. Hmm. Oh, what game is this? This is uh, Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit. It is a remake of the original Game Gear game. And I have my first emerald. I was not expecting to find my emerald in there. I was just expecting to get find, uh, find other stuff. But so far, it feels pretty good to play. It's, uh, the only issue is like the D-pad support. I don't know what's going on. 
Sonic without defeating Badnik is being worked on as we speak. I am trying to finish it by the end of the month because I'm not going to be able to make it to the game's fifth anniversary because that's that's like nine days from now and that's impossible. Yeah, Sonic 2 does nothing for me. Wait, the video I made before, what are you talking about? I like the music. Oh, I got a one-up for that one. Nice. Uh, I have no idea what other video you're talking about. Should you buy Sonic Origins? Um, I'd wait for a sale. Oh, I have to jump on those. Okay. Chemical Plant Sonic 2. Even though I can go through that level with, like, no effort. Again, like, I proved that I can be I can be good at a level and still have a lot of criticism for it. Chemical plant, not really that good of a level. Kind of boring because you're kind of in tubes. It's not the most fun thing in the world. Wait, I see that. Metropolis, that one's just a bad level in general. I mean, like, I'm not the only one who thinks that level is bad. Favorite Pokemon is uh, Blastoise. Oh, that's so cool. That's just going to be fun to do. Got the yellow shield, let's go! No special stage, really? I would assume there'd be like a special stage or something, but I guess not? Okay. Whatever. Uh, does it work like Sonic 3 and Knuckles where you have to go through like big rings for all of them? Wait, what am I doing? I literally just went through one. Never mind. It's like, what am I talking about? I literally just went through one. Nothing here. All right, we can hop out here. Is Triple Trouble a prequel? Um, I mean, in the remake, it kind of takes place after Three and Knuckles, so probably not. I have no idea. That could just be some headcanon. No. Wait. Go back up. If you could find Sonic Origins on sale, go for it. If it's your only way of playing it. Uh, if you have other ways of playing it, it's a, a bit of a hard sell. Especially after they delisted everything and kind of made a lot of fans mad with that. Because they took away the alternative, which is still supporting them. Which is kind of I don't know, I think that's kind of a joke. They take out the alternative that would still support them just because... Just because they want you to buy the new one. It's like, it's literally like Jay from Men in Black when he's like, you know what? Old and busted, new hotness. And then as K is walking away, you hear him say like, old and busted hotness. Damn it. Yeah, I can do that again. I don't know how to make a Sonic fan game. I wanted to a, a long time ago, but I just had so many things come up. Plus, I was doing YouTube stuff, so that took a lot of my time.
This is actually really cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Sonic and the Fallen Star, but not as intense. Which I, I, I'm happy for that. Sonic and the Fallen Star was pretty intense, but I love the special stages in those games. In that game. Like, those special stages were... They were very challenging, but they were really good. Just the lap system kind of messed me up a few times. Knack is not going to weasel his way out of this one. He's still going to... He's going to take this L and he's going to like it. Oh, that's interesting. So it looks like all of this should be possible. I shouldn't be able to, like, overshoot any jumps. That's cool. Do I like doing YouTube? If you don't want to answer it, I don't mind. Yeah, I like doing YouTube. I would... Pr I prefer it over, like, something like a, a regular 9 to 5. Because, like, all my friends work 9 to 5 jobs and... Every now and then you hear kind of like how bad it is, and it's like, I'm glad I don't do that. Maybe if the pay on YouTube was a little better, or a lot better. But, you know, it's it's hard to complain about, you know, doing something that I like. Or earning money doing what I like, you know? I think I just cheesed the boss by doing that. If I were to run Sonic Team, what would I do? I do not care what Izuka says, or Izuka-san says. Chow Garden mobile game. I would commit to that. I would commit to that. That'd be first project. If I had to choose to work at Sega or Nintendo, what would it pick? Probably Nintendo. Higher profile job, probably. I don't know. How about this? Chow Garden game, mobile, console, PC, It's it works with all. Uh, yeah, Sonic CD is not on Steam. None of the standalone releases are there anymore. Like Pac-Man 256, something like that, but make it so that way you can actually uh, connect with other players. So that way you can do like you can have like more social interactions with Chow, um, with other Chow Garden players. I would include that. It'd be like a Pokemon Go kind of thing where you have to like kind of walk around to earn fruits and stuff to feed your Chow and stuff, and you can have multiple of them. Probably something along those lines. I, I would have to, like, try to, like, come up with all of my thoughts for it. Uh, which... That might not be a bad idea for a video, actually. Hmm. I could write a whole video and be like, what I would put, like, I'm an entitled fan, and this is what I want in my Chow Garden game. <laughs> Except I wouldn't sound like that. It'd be more like, hey, uh, I have ideas for a Chow Garden game, and I think that it might actually work in today's, uh, climate. But then I think about it as, like, well... That Chow, Chow Island Resort was pretty good. Just turn that into a full-fledged game. They did it so they could take the full releases, or the standalone releases off Steam. Yeah, which is crazy because Sonic 1, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles are all gone. Like Sonic 1 and 2, which were in like the original releases of the Genesis collection. Those are gone. That was pretty cool. I have no idea what I did, but I liked it. I kind of want to, like... I would totally watch, like, a devlog of this whole thing, of this game. I saw it. I saw it, like, off the corner of my eye. That's alright. Like, it's just, like, ideas that I would have. If anything, I could write it into a YouTube video, but I think other people have already done stuff like that. Or, Far better at making YouTube uh, those kinds of videos than I am. 
Okay, I'm actually glad that hit me. But damn. Okay, never mind. I have like nine lives. Revamp gems collection. A gems collection would be nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't move. Oh my god, did my controller just give up on me? My, tr my controller literally just started re resetting. Cause now I gotta play this with stupid mouse and keyboard, or stupid keyboard. That's great. So now I'm at a huge disadvantage because I don't like playing on keyboard. Because it feels disgusting to do. And I, I've just lost this one. Oh, that is bull. Am I going to get a, a ring anywhere? I know the Xbox controller works perfectly. I, I think I just need to get batteries, which... God, this game is getting really annoying with that. And I lost. Give me a minute. Let me go grab some batteries, and I'll be back.
Hi. Sorry about that. I had to go and get batteries, and I think I started the game a little bit. So hopefully we're good to go. We good to go? We good to go. It started a little bit because I was trying to take my uh, the batteries out of my controller. Yeah, this one's... I can't restart, are you kidding me? Yeah, this was terrible. Opinion on Gen 9 games. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, I was very skeptical of Gen 8, and I didn't really care too much for it, but with Gen 9, I'm like... I, I guess because like, the raids in Gen 8 were so much fun, I'm like, yeah, I'm down to do this again. So I think that's what I'm looking forward to most. Like, the raid potentials. Like, how much fun they would be. So, yeah, I'm going to be picking up the Gen 9 games day one, hopefully. Barring any uh, possible issues with reordering. I s right, I forgot. Left and right on the D-pad are like the worst in this game. I s okay. Why are the special stages in this like the worst thing ever? Take it back. I like the ones in Sonic and the Falling Stars so much more. These are terrible. Stay back there. <sighs> Death Reception is not this game's strong suit. I'll say that. The game could work a little bit on uh, Depth Perception. Fleetway Sonic looks kind of cool, but I know very little about it. About that, uh, about that version of Sonic. So I don't have a lot to say. Okay, as long as I just go pure rings, I should be fine. Best Pokemon game? Uh, probably Black and White. But it's not the same answer as my favorite Pokemon games. That would be Generation 2. Like, Gold, Silver, Crystal. Those are my absolute favorites. I would defend those games before I defend a Sonic game. Or if I had to defend that or a Sonic game, I would defend that first. Oh my god. Drink Gamer Piss. Stupid thing. Oh, I have three Emeralds. What am I doing? Oh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are so good. I like those ones. Uh, thanks for coming by, Sonic Omega. Sorry, I kind of had to, like, vanish for a bit. At least I have discovered that I will not be, like, super hungry or anything once the stream is over. I have food waiting for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, this is that weird thing where I mentioned I don't really get into the lore of Sonic as much. Unless it's for a game that I really love, like Adventure. I'm down, I'm always down to hear things about that. But stuff like, oh, Fleetway Sonic or Dark Sonic or something like that, I... Wait. I had to do this at least once. Let's go! That didn't work. As planned. How did I lose rings? I thought I had... I thought I had my fire shield, but I guess not. Oh, that sucks. Do I like Adventure 2 and Heroes? Um, Heroes is fine. It has a lot of issues with uh, repetition, but I still think it's fine. It's it's an alright game. Uh, Adventure 2, I'm kind of so-so on. I love the day stages, but everything else is just not as fun. But they're not the worst things in the world, you know. There's I've played worse, so very mixed on that one. And then with Adventure 1, I love it. It's my favorite game in the series. Did you just uppercut me? Hey, you jackass. Oh, he's gonna drop down? Yo, that's sick. Okay, I love his moveset. I'm gonna sure you can me. Dummy. been every two generations yeah and it's a shame because it, I, I will say this it's a shame with the uh, new ones because they're not that <laughs> the new remakes are not that good like the remakes of gen 1 gen 2 and gen 3 were awesome 
The remakes of Gen 4 are terrible. They are the laziest cash grabs possible in the series. And it sucks because I love the series. Like, I played it since I was... I grew up playing it. It's my favorite... It, at the time, was my favorite video game franchise. Before, you know, I started really getting into Legend of Zelda. But then it's like... I, I'm constantly disappointed by the Pokemon series. I hope with how Legends Arceus is and how the new games will hopefully be, like, I'm just hoping that they're much better because I have hope for the new games. And Legends Arceus kind of is like, oh, these games could be really cool. But yeah. Am I going to review this game? Uh, I think it'd be too late for it, but I don't know what I would say that many people haven't said already. Um... So, I don't know if I would actually review it, because I don't want to, like... I don't know how I would approach that. I would I would imagine everyone's already... Anyone who um, is willing to listen has already seen reviews on this, because the game's been out for a little while. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like what this game is doing. I did not appreciate that, though. Sucks more because Gen 4 was so much fun. Gen 4, despite it being very slow, was a lot of fun. I I was in high school when Gen 4 was brand new, and I played a lot of it. Like, <laughs> I had like hundreds of hours in Pokemon Diamond, so that kind of gives you an idea of how invested I was in them uh, when they were announced. Like, yeah, it's cool, and then when I played it, I was like, I'm so disappointed. And the only cool thing is that I got a shiny Geodude. Constant rambling is like should be the uh, it should be the official tagline of my channel, but I haven't really gotten in. I haven't really thought about that. Then again, some people think I just ramble incoherently, but there's always a point to it, unless I say there's no point. I like the flow of this level, it's so cool. Have I seen any Sonic cartoons? I used to watch Sonic Underground uh, when I was younger, and then I would also I think I've seen. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, I want to say. You want Tails? Just take me this way. All right, fine, Tails. You take you take care of him. It's all you, buddy. There we go. That's how I speed up. So Sonic Underground, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I've seen a little bit of Sonic X uh, when it would be on TV. Oh, right. This is a generation that has, like, streaming services. So, t TV... So, we used to have this thing called uh, Analog TV, where you didn't have to, like, be subscribed to, like, cable or something. You just kind of got it for free. Um, that kind of ended around 2006 in the U.S., and... I think streaming services, except, you know, they don't look as good. Uh, you sometimes don't get the show you want, but then you're introduced to, like, really cool shows like Shaolin Showdown or something. They never did find their mother. That's really sad. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog was just like bootleg Looney Tunes, and I had a VHS with all the with a bunch of Looney Tunes cartoons, so I was set. I was set on that. What's in here? Oh, it's. Oh, it's um. That is cool. It's pinball. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> direct on demand. I mean, I guess if you have the money for it. <laughs> not that big of an anime fan. Oh no, it's not um it's not an anime. It's like an American probably not American cartoon, but it it was a cartoon. It wasn't like anime, proper anime. Uh it was just like it was a show about four kids from different parts of the world who were collecting um I think it was like artifacts or something. It was pretty sick. That and Jackie Chan Adventures was awesome. At least from what I've seen. I saw, like, the first two seasons. As for, like, full-on anime, I'm slowly getting into that stuff. Is an alright enough Looney Tunes, like, show? The animation can be great, but... About four kids. You mean the jelly donuts in Pokemon? 
or actually no, I think that was like that's all I can think of. The jelly donuts and Pokemon, because that was really bad. Huh. Surprised there wasn't like Gapsule or something. Or like the removed uh, symbol under the Dark Magician in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, four kids was like they're kind of out of pocket sometimes. Yeah, direct on demand. What is what's it called? I actually don't know what that's called. Never had it. Probably. Oh, that's yeah. I knew that was death coming my way. Do I watch The Simpsons? Yeah, I I grew up watching it, and um, I'm really big on the old. Oh my god. I'm still love the old episodes, I can't watch the new ones. I find them to be unwatchable. Only because I'm spoiled on, like, the old stuff, like... I, and I know it's more of, like, a... It's a matter of preference, so if you like the new ones, by all means. But I always love the old episodes of, of The Simpsons. Right, I've seen this before. It's like a climbing animation. It's so sick. I like this. Best Simpsons season? Ooh. I'd have to think about all the episodes, and there's way too many that I like. Okay, I guess there's nothing here. Very last resort. Pack to save into the mod itself, so that doesn't work. Uh, I'm probably just gonna have to like play through the whole game again. So if I ever do show off the if I ever do show off the mod, then um, you know I'll have a save file that's not corrupted. So I'll just play through the whole thing again and then save it for another time. But thank you for helping. I sorry it didn't go the way it was supposed to. Yeah, the train's awesome in this. In fact, if you, I might stream it on my Twitch.tv page. Anybody in chat, if you uh, want to check out, I mean, I tend to play more platformer games there as well. You know what's funny? His nickname is like Fang the Sniper, but he's like a very slow sniper. Bro, what are you doing? You heart scoping? It's not gonna get you in phase. Very few people know what I'm talking about, cause. Bart the General, Homer's Barbershop, uh, Barbershop Quartet, and a, new, and a newer one. Oh, those are some good ones. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of really good ones from, like, the old seasons. Like, the Barbershop Quartet one, that's actually pretty good. I think that's... Oh, no, it was, they were doing something else, I think. It was another music-related one, but it was pretty good as well. Like, just a lot. Uh, favorite Sonic game story-wise... Gonna have to go with Sonic Adventure. It's funny because it leads right after Sonic 3 Knuckles, so it's like, it's perfect. It fits. It fits the series canon. You suck at sniping. Oh, what? Oh, that's a sense. A real sense of urgency now. The drop dash kind of breaks this whole area. Well, those bat those flickies are kind of dead. Oops. That's a spring yard background. I uh, remember most episodes of Sonic at Sat AM, but. Like, most episodes of Sonic's at AM, but I remember there was a weird-ass episode with a wizard, and I did not enjoy it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, wait, hold on. I fought that whole thing without actually looking at it, because I was reading chat. You had a Genesis, but did you have a uh, Dreamcast or Saturn? I had a Genesis with a few games. I also had a Dreamcast. In fact, I got a Dreamcast not too long, uh, a few years back, because I wanted to relive that whole thing of, like, playing Sonic Adventure and Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom vs. SNK and um, a couple of other games that I grew up playing on Dreamcast. So yeah, I did have a Dreamcast, and it was awesome. 
isn't the same Sonic Labyrinth, is it? No, it is not the same game. Sonic Spinball is a pinball game. Sonic Labyrinth is a uh, an isometric view platformer, I want to say. Not exactly platforming being done, but... Wait, I want to have Tails fly me here. Um, I've played Spinball. I don't see the appeal. Yeah, I think I did this either on a stream or in a... Um... I played this at some point. This... It was like an old build of it. Actually, wait, no, I found the video the other day, so yeah, I have played this before. Oh, a caterpillar that's on the side. That's kind of cool. Spoon ball is fun, but it's hard. I wasn't into it. It's funny, I first heard this music through, uh, I think I've mentioned it in that video where it's like, yeah, I heard this music before, but it was through a, uh, a Mario ROM hack because I was big into those like a couple years back. Like I was huge into Mario World ROM hacks. I thought Mario World was the coolest thing ever, and it's still one of, like, my favorite games. I would defend Mario World over any, over something that I would be asked to defend. Puzzle game? Okay, so I, I knew there was something, there was a different, a better genre for that than platformer, because it's not a platformer in the traditional sense, like, yeah, there's some elevation involved, but it's not enough to, like, be like, this is a whole platformer, because it's really not. Here we go. Sonic Origins decided to make Sonic Spinball canon. I don't know why I thought of Sega Japan hated the American stuff. Also, Labyrinth is also canon, and so is Sky Patrol, as they are connected in the Japanese manual. Oh! Cool. Let's build new every day. I like the music in this. This is such a Mario sound uh, theme to have. Yeah, it's way too much to do in one level. Uh, if they put it into like eight smaller uh, pinball levels, then I think Spinball would have been a much better game. Not an amazing game, because mind you, there's only so much you could do with that, but it would be an improvement. What if I went this way? I'm trying to find special stages now, because I want to do them. I don't want to be like left... Wait, there's items in there. Oh, okay, never mind. I will say, uh, if I didn't have, like... Yeah, I'm having an issue with the... with the D-pad in this game. If I wasn't having that issue, I'd say, yeah, this game's awesome. There's probably a program that's running that's making it freak out, because that's usually what happens. terrible blue spheres in the Sonic 2 ones. I still suck at the ones from Sonic 2, but I got better at blue spheres. Yeah, especially if you play Mania. Those, if you go for achievements in Mania, those will make you a lot better at blue spheres. Because I did that to get the uh, to get all of the achievements in Sonic Mania, so I had to get better at them. I don't want to fall down that. Game is fun. It also feels it also feels a little mindless at times. I actually really like that level the uh, boss the I guess it's boss music. I genuinely like it. Like I think it's really good. It's catchy. He did the unlock everything code. It's fine. I just went for achievements because I had Xbox Live and I also had Steam. I'm like okay, I could do that. It's all right if you use if you use cheats. Who cares? It's your game. You paid for it. Am I winning? Uh, I think so. I have three emeralds and I'm a couple. And I'm at uh metal. I'm just gonna call it metal uh, meta jungle because uh I can't. I don't wanna. Oh, 
Oh, I bet the special stage was in there. Oh, I could have switched to Tails. Oh, it doesn't look like it is. How far in the game am I? I act, I genuinely do not know. I don't remember uh, much from Triple Trouble. Will I die if I go down here? Let's test that out. Oh yeah, I will. I, I will die if I go in there, so let's avoid that. Gives you all the extras not beating the game. Uh, what does? Can you restart the stage on the pause menu? Yeah. Well, not right now, because I'm in the middle of a cutscene. 8-bit Sonic 1 is canon, but set in another adventure from Sonic. Oh, so it's like how... So, like, alternate universe kind of thing. Which, I'm whatever. I'm, like, kind of... I don't care at this point. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Third zone? Alright. I don't remember how many zones... Ooh. I, you know what? I appreciate that this uses the Sonic 3 sprites. I know people give those... They give, like, the Sonic 3 sprites like, a lot of flack. I genuinely love them. I love the Sonic 3 sprites. I think they're really good. Uh, I don't understand the hate. If it was like, oh, I just prefer Sonic 2. Okay. Very fair. Very valid. But it's like the, oh, it looks so... It looks like this, it looks like that. It's like, ah, I don't get Y'all are weird. Damn it. Ooh, that's gonna cost me. Hopefully that doesn't cost me. Yeah, this is gonna cost me. All right, I gotta concentrate. Pure concentration. Probably not. If I'm commentating it, then there's no concentration going on. I just caught that last second. Uh, people find a reason to complain. That's why I don't like to talk about Sonic too much outside of videos, because the videos, at least I know, it's like, oh, these are people who watch my videos for the most part who will see it. Like, I look for the more valid things to criticize. I don't care about Sonic's design if it's not, like, the most radically insane thing. I just lost this one. I barely lost it by hitting that stupid thing. Uh, at least I almost got it first try. Okay. Gotta remember, I'm seeing a lot of these for the first time, so I'm learning how to do them. So I'm... It's like on-the-job training. That's literally what I would call YouTube... <laughs> That's literally what I would call YouTube if you were just hired for it for the first time ever, I swear. Depth perception, don't fail me. That is literally what YouTube is, because no one teaches you how to be a YouTuber. You kind of just have to learn. So if I had to describe what YouTube was for me for the first few years, on the job. <laughs> on the job training. <laughs> Despite it not being a job at the time. Because I wasn't making enough. Everyone should get off Twitter. Everyone should get off Twitter more often. Not so much of, like, leave the platform entirely. I mean, like, take more breaks from it. Because I've done that recently, like, where I'll just ignore Twitter completely. It also kind of sucks because, you know, I'm a YouTuber, so I kind of have to have some sort of presence on social media. But I've done it where it's, like, I've ignored Twitter, and I've honestly, like, it doesn't really, like, affect me or anything. I have, like, a good day or something. So I think people should just really let go of social media a little more. Even if your job is on social media, just take a break from it every once in a while. Take a personal day. Watch a good movie, go outside, breathe some fresh air, touch some grass, I guess, for some people. Um, maybe not lose brain cells, but it does really do, it does do a lot to you, because that's just the general nature of social media. It does a lot to you mentally, and it's not good. So... Taking the occasional break, you know, you come back, you're you're calmer, level-headed. I don't know, it's much better. I don't know where I was going with that.
yeah, I'll see the occasional tweet as well, but, like, even if I'm not doing anything on Twitter, I'll see the occasional tweet, but it's only just something, like, cool that I was sent. Like, I'll see, like, all of these work-in-progress sprites or, uh, fan games, and I'm just like, I want to play those, because they look nice. Oh my god, really? All right, Sonic, right here. Wait, what? What good is that for? Nah, I wouldn't do a multiverse with Sonic. I mean, it's you could technically do it. There's more than enough characters on the roster and like the franchise's roster, but I think doing multiverse stuff is a little played out at this point. Then again, I'm someone who is, like, so tired of, like, the MCU. Like, it takes a lot to get me excited for a Marvel movie now. I know there's a new Black Panther movie that, that's, like, the one where I'm like, alright, yeah, I'll go watch that. But everything else, I'm like, I can do without. Oh, that's gonna cost me. No, I'm gonna get fired for that blunder. I actually like how predictable it is. Okay, I don't like how how weird that was. Oh, just barely got it. Holy crap. That's not good. Give me rings or give me rings. Sorry, I'll take a look at chat in just a moment. I'm doing I'm doing intense video gaming. Ah. Oh. Asterisk. I'm really excited for Spider-Man in the MCU. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, stop following the MC after Endgame on the South Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, not way, no way home because, oh, okay. I mean, like every now and then I'll be like, okay, that sounds fun. But for the most part, I'm just like, eh, I don't, I don't need it. That's not me. Like, I don't watch like the stuff that's on Disney Plus, like WandaVision and stuff. But it's always one of those things that if it catches my eye, I'll give it a shot. Like, again, uh, Black Panther movie, or whatever it's called, Wakanda Forever. I'm down to watch that. I en I genuinely enjoyed the first movie. I don't care about, like, its associated association with the MCU. Like, I genuinely enjoyed it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. You having a laugh? Having a giraffe? How is it that the third special stage is like the hardest one? Ah! Oh shoot. That's only five. Oh. This is the cl this is so damn close. No! How? Oh, man, he moves slightly faster. Man, that sucks. Alright, I got this. Some serious video gameage going on. Ah. 
Ah, uh, I did the stupid thing again. And that's it. I screwed up. I, I knew where my mistake was, so I'm just like, yeah, that's it. It's not as hard of it as the other ones, I'm just making stupid mistakes. So... That's all I gotta say, I'm just making dumb mistakes at this point. But I can easily, like... I can easily fix it. I have to be less careless when I do this, though. There we go. Collect more rings, and I should... And... Ah, dang it. Yeah, that one was not going. Okay. Top part. Up here, down there, down here, and we good. Oh, he's gonna catch up, isn't he? Shoot, I did not consider that. Don't catch up at all. Awesome. So close. Okay. What does what do? Yeah, no, I had to hit the lightning bulb, but I was running out of rings when I did it, so... I had to make a choice on that one, and the choice didn't go so well. Sonic Battle Royale? Uh, who do you think is dying? Well, clearly it's not Sonic. I think Sonic survives the whole thing because main character, uh, he's just the main character. Probably be like Big the Cat over a stupid technicality, or just the fact that he's just nothing but raw power. I don't like Big the Cat very much, or at all. I just think he would win off a stupid technical. Wow, okay, cool. How many is this? Oh. Great. It's the Turbo Tunnels from uh, Battletoads. Oh god, that gives me a nightmare. Why? <laughs> I fell out of the course, damn it. It goes to show how many lives I actually had at this point if I'm still able to like redo special stages this many times. Like, of how forgiving this game gets. But then again, I found those by going off the beaten path. I wasn't really... Wasn't necessarily, like, in the direct path. But, you know, you explore a little and you get rewarded for it. That's not good. Alright. No! I did it again! The death perception is really messing with me at this point. Like, I'm just struggling to f figure out the timing of where I need to jump, just because it's a grid. It, it's a grid, so it's not the easiest thing to look at in this pattern for too long. Especially when this jerk gets in the way. Got it. Holy crap. This really does give uh, Turbo Tunnel vibes. Yeah, it... Whoa, hold on, I'm only off by one. 
Wait. Is the last one as a final boss? Is the last one like a final boss? Or do I have all of them? Or do I have to get the last one through through a big ring? I do that too. Sometimes I'll sometimes I'll type something and I'll forget to actually say it in the chat. I've been there before. End of the game. Okay. Yeah, I was cool if I, I would have been cool if anyone telling me that, so thank you for that. Now I know. Oh, it's in the game. Let's go. Oh, that could kind of weak. Atomic Destroyer Act Three. Okay. <laughs> Will it ever work? Okay. But yeah, thank you for that. Okay. That boss actually got me with that. Well played, boss. Mini boss. God, the music is so good. Oh, it's an escape sequence. I. Sort of. Oh, that's mean. Oh, I have to go this way. Okay. It looks like a Muppet. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty sick when he's just like sliding. Alright, that was fun. It took me a while to get through it, but it was fun. If you've played Sonic the Fighters, who did you play the most? I think I just played a Sonic so I can, learn, so I can get the achievement on Xbox One. Or 360, technically. But it's, in the, it's on Xbox One as well, backwards compatible. Uh, Oil Ocean or Metropolis? I would take Metro uh, Metropolis because it's more interesting. Oil Ocean sucks. Oh, this is freaking sick. Man, these are so creative. And to think, we never got this on a console. Like, we never got these ideas on console games. Ah, uh, no. Okay. That was weird. That was cool. I like that. The egg led Zeppelin. Egg Zeppelin may contain lead. It is kind of like Wing Fortress, but there's just something about it that I like a lot more. Oh, that's bad. Alright, so uh, Sonic Art, uh, I only played a Sonic in it. I tried playing it. Oh, wait, no, I did play as Knuckles. Um, a long time ago, I did a. Uh, I did a video on, um... Oh, you're copying the emerald? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. The the one where it's like, uh... The one where the level's trying to, um... What? I like this. This is so much more interesting than this. It's basically Sky Chase as a boss. Also, I don't know what the stuttering is from. It might be a YouTube thing. And if you're saying that that's my commentary, that's mean. You're bullying me. But yeah, I, I would. Uh, I did a video early on where I played as uh, I played as Knuckles because I was playing it for the first time, and I was do doing it through PlayStation Now because I didn't, you know. 
Not a lot when it comes to the YouTube channel budget, because there was no budget whatsoever. It was like, within the first month of the channel's existence, there was no budget for it. Because I was making nothing off of it. But, um, yeah, I did, uh... I played as Knuckles for like a half hour, and then I played as Sonic not too, like, a while ago. When I got it on uh, Xbox One, so that way I can get the achievements. I found it to be frustrating, but I have access to it to play, like, more than just an hour or so, so... I might try to get better at the game. Only because it's interesting, and I like the visual style of it. I'm a sucker for low-poly 2D, uh, 3D, so... Stuff like, um... Like, Sonic the Fighters and Sonic R. If not gameplay-wise, then, like, visually, they're interesting to me. That's why, I like, even old PS2 games, I'm like, yeah, that looks interesting. Like, I like the look of it. Because I never got to have that stuff, uh, like the old PS1 games. I didn't really have those, but I like the look of it. And some of them actually played really well. Oh, this is... This is just the zone from, uh... Yeah, you're right, this is just from Sonic Advance. Yeah, if it was backwards uh, compatible on Xbox One, my 360 would have no purpose. And I kind of hope that was the case, but no. Sega doesn't want to do it, and I think Microsoft is done with 360 games being backwards compatible, which is a shame. Robotnik Winter. Oh, this is, this is sick. This is how you do an Ice Levels introduction. Oh, I like that. It's Ice Cap. Uh, I think this has like a cooler aesthetic to it than Ice Cap. It could just be like the pinkish purple in the background. I'm really digging it. Anything that's like purple or something like that, I always love that look. What's above this? Oh, that's such a good placement for something above it. The lore of this game is really good. The pinkish purple. Yeah, it just looks really nice. Oh, okay, so I have all the special stages done. All right, cool. First try, hey, or first playthrough, did it. It's a complete playthrough. Oh, it's a city in the background. It's like kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of see like the blocks. I don't know how easy it is to see on stream. Oh, that's just fun. If your favorite zone, I might just pass it up because it's just as good. Yeah, Ice Cap is pretty good, but I'm just digging the look of this. Then again, this kind of builds off of Ice Cap, right? It like takes some of the gimmicks and just builds off of it. So... Maybe this level is just so good because Ice Cap was really good to begin with. By the way, all all versions of Ice Ice Cap uh, music is valid because I like both of them. Maybe it is a city. I'm doubting it's a mountain because they're like supposed to be pointy. Yeah, you're supposed to see like peaks of it. Um, for for a city, you, s you see more like a city structure because it has like what you would see in like a city outline. It's really cool. I like it. I really like this game. If I didn't have my stupid controller issues, which is probably a Windows thing, not a not a programming error. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll try playing it with the, my controller plugged in and see how that works out. It might just have a similar it might have a similar uh weirdness that uh Kingdom Hearts does on has on PC. Oh, Oh, you can just carry your speed with that one. Man, you zoom in on that one. It actually feels like a Sonic 4. Yeah, it feels like a proper Sonic 4. Stuff's a little headcanon-like, but... Um, Gameplay-wise, this is a this feels pr like a proper sequel. 
That's not to discredit any other fan games, like Sonic and the Fallen Star, like I said, fantastic fan game. Probably one of the best ones I've played. This one's just right up there with it. I like 2D platformers, if uh, you haven't figured that out. I'm slowly warming up to 3D platformers, but 2D stuff is like, that's for me. That's what I love. Whoa! Okay, that was weird. So if you haven't played uh, Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit and you have uh, whatever uh, platforms it's supported on, I think it's Windows, not sure about Mac, and I know an Android version is also in development. <laughs> he has a freaking statue, that's so cool. Anyways, uh, if you haven't played it yet, I recommend it. Oh, he's going to dig towards me. Oh. Oh, that is vicious. Okay, so I have to actually be very smart about this. Uh, I, I think it's just whatever uh, this game is built in. I think it just had, like, something that it didn't account for. That's the thing. Like, I try not to uh, be like, oh, well, how they're supposed to know this happens. Like, sometimes you don't account for things and you kind of just... What? Knuckles, what are you doing? Like a Sonic Forces thing going on right there. Like he'll run, throw a rock. It looks like from Sonic Forces, it looks like I could just bounce it right back. I can't bounce it back. Oh god! I like that they use the uh, the prototype music. I have an appreciation for that. They're doing they're doing my favorite character justice in this game. Even if he is an uh, um, even if he is like a villain in this game, which would actually make this the third time he gets tricked by Eggman. Unless he's just trying to fight Sonic for revenge. I don't know the lore of this game, but I do want to find out more. Oh, that frustration caused an avalanche. And Knuckles is dead. Excuse me? What is this? Oh, this really... This is Sonic Adventure Ice Cap before Sonic Adventure Ice Cap. Except it's got, except it's got a challenge to it. It's not just badass music. It's both. Hey, look, it's Mickey Mania. Um, the person who made the the avatar for my um, my YouTube channel made that comment. Luke Station, if you haven't followed them. Uh, they also make content. They're a part of the Sonic 3D Rush uh, dev team. But most importantly, they drew the avatar that I have for my YouTube channel. For this one. Oh, dang it. Oh, so the little action lines stop uh, on the 4x3 thing. I think that's something you might have to bring up. Like, when you saw the action lines, it ended on uh, where, like, the 4x3 barrier or margin would end. I'm literally on a snowboard the whole level, and I love it. Oh, and I can spin! Oh, man, this, this fan game is, like, so amazing. If you haven't already, I think this is on 3DS, and if it is, support support Sega. I know uh, this is like the last month. I think we only have like a couple, like a few weeks until uh, you can't add like credit card info for uh, for buying games on 3DS. But if you have like a little bit left over in your account, you know, is that the first bottomless pit I found? Oh, huh, okay. Like, if you have a little bit in your account, you know, support Sega with this. I'm sure um, the creator would advise the same thing to support the official release. Because this is really cool. Hey, JS Funny, what's up? Why are you saying sus, huh? You've been playing Among Us? Playing Among Us, waiting for the VR version? Uh, it's, I'm waiting for the VR version. That actually looks pretty... It, it, it's such a cool idea, even though technically it's been done already. Like a VR version of Among Us. It's just... 
Inner Sloth probably didn't have the proper funding for it yet. Codename Gamma, how you doing? Thank you for showing me around in VR chat. That was actually really freaking cool. But yeah, there's Codename Gamma. Um, again, if you haven't seen the video on the Sonic 3 uh, Sonic Origin cheats, go to her channel. It's right there. I've seen videos on like the VR Among Us thing that was done in VR chat. It was pretty funny. You need like the right people for it, like the, the right kind of people for that kind of game. And I think I know a lot of people who are like that who would be perfect fits, uh, a perfect fit for that. Do you want some company? I'll talk with your voice. Uh, yeah, sure. Can I pause? Game? Can I pause? I cannot pause. Okay. We're gonna bring on a guest. Uh, codename Gamma, really good friend of mine. What's this? <laughs> oh, I, I can't talk about that one. That's a funny joke. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to... Has joined the fight. <laughs> the fight or flight. <laughs> so, yeah, feel free to call when, uh, when you're ready. I'm going to adjust the audio levels so that way everything sounds good. Hello. Uh, hey, how's it going? Going pretty good. How you doing? Okay, Discord, what is going on can here? Can you hear me, Frank? Because I can't hear you. Oh, I know what Discord did. Ah, uh, there we go. Mm, definitely can't hear you. How about now? Now I can hear you. Okay, so Discord used the Oculus... Uh, as an input device, and my headset's and to turned off. And default to, like, the Oculus microphone and stuff, like, very, very often. I have to fight with it all the time. Okay. Uh, I need to figure out how to raise your volume, because I think I have you a little quiet on my Discord. That just might be on oh, my maybe. end. Oh, wait, I could just do it through... Uh, you should be able to right-click me, I think, and do it now. Okay. I just not... Okay, that should be good. Okay, so how's that sound? What was that? <laughs> how's that sound? Uh, sound is good. All right. All right, so we're good. Why, hello, chat. Sonic, just go all the way up there. Okay, cool. Sending you to Jesus. Why would you want to send me to someone named Jesus? Yeah, everybody knows Jesus. You know, he gives you the best deals in town. Let me use car. I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke. I was like, I know him. I haven't seen him in a couple months though. I wanted to make a reference to that movie, um, White Chicks. Remember? <laughs> oh, I love that movie. <laughs> why, Poppy? Why? <laughs> uh, yeah. I need to watch that again. Almost five hours in the stream is still going. Yeah, clearly I have. Uh... So web... I played the first couple of levels of this game. How is it so far? It's pretty cool. Like I've been genuinely enjoying it. Um, the only issues I've been having is uh, related to like the controller inputs because I have to use the analog stick to play. If I uh, if I use the D-pad for whatever reason, I'll walk, I'll run a little bit, and then I'll come to a stop. Oh, and then I get. Oh, that's hit. weird. Yeah. So I wonder if that's just on my end. Probably is. Hmm, maybe. Although they said that they're going to revamp controllers and port coming soon, so... Okay. Oh, I can just... 
getting absolutely bodied by the Metal Penguinator. But yeah, but that cheat codes video is doing pretty good. I figured it probably would, but it's good that it actually I'm, is. I'm glad to hear that because, well, I don't know if I want to, <laughs> I don't know if I should like the things that we were talking about, like related to that stuff, uh, we could probably just not. <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad the video is yeah, doing really well. I'm glad the video is doing well. I'm glad that they updated it and put the stuff back. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have been work that I was going to have to do, and I didn't want to do it. <laughs> Although I'm hearing some of the things that were fixed in, like, Sonic 2 weren't really fixed. It was more like a Band-Aid solution to it. Oh, my gosh. I jumped into this. Yeah. Part. It would have been nice if they had, um... If they had added, like, or they fixed the roll lock. That was the main thing. Like, yeah. annoyed. Yeah, that's still an issue with the games. Um, so that's an that's an unfortunate thing, and that's been there since even like the original release of the uh, of the remasters. Which makes sense, but they didn't have the drop dash before. And the drop dash is just a one tap spin dash. Which I mean, it's fine. It gets the job yeah. done, but. Eh. Would have been nice to have I don't a know if they got to do those, that stuff, but like, they have the source code for Mania. They could look at it and did something better. They probably just saw what M2 uh, M2 did with uh, Sega Ages Sonic One because that also had a like a one tap. Yeah, drop, it was uh, a little dash. jink there. Yeah, it's the exact same spin dash. So I think they just took that and went with it because they already had it. I don't know how that translates from like different versions of the games because you know one's a modified Sonic 1 and the other one is like the retro engine. So uh, if I have to guess when you jump, right? Because I think that I saw a video where they're like, "Oh, Sonic goes into a standing position for one frame." Yeah, it's like a one frame. So what they did is when you jump and then you hold down the button, it puts you in that state. And what it's checking for is for you to land. So when it goes to the standing state, then it goes, "Oh, Okay, let's put you in the um, spin dash state, and then because there's no, no revs, it just is the single one. Okay. Yeah, I understand just why. Just how I would program it if I was being lazy, and I actually have programmed it that way. <laughs> one time. Uh, for M2 doing that, it's fine. Like, they get a pass on it just because it is, you know, it's them using, like, the Genesis ROM of it, and I'm sure... If they reached out to fans to uh, to figure out the uh, drop dash on it, I'm sure they could achieve that no problem. But even for what it was, it was fine. But for the remasters, I figured they would want to bring that from uh, from Mania. But again, it just mm -hmm. runs like different versions of the retro engine. But from what I've been told. I mean, it is all the same version of the retro engine. It's RSDK 5 Ultimate, I guess is what they're calling it. Oh. But it is slightly different. Okay. Because most of those games, the beginning ones, um, Sonic 1 and 2 and CD, use um, what's called uh, RetroScript. So a base majority of the game and how it's programmed is done in, like, script files. Oh, okay. So, like, with 1 and 2... Those two are completely interchangeable. They could use the same executable and it'll just run. That explains why the decomp can work with both of them. <laughs> but where, like, um, Mania is, it's hard-coded. So, you know, everything has to be, like, changed over. Okay. They had to rewrite, I'm pretty sure, all of their code, but it was... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I know this now because I was going to say something really uninformed in whenever I finished the uh, Origins videos. So, because I, I still want to make a video on that oh, and talk about it, but I would have said something that would have been like really uninformed. So I'm glad I can avoid that. Uh, yeah. As much as I love Sega, they dropped in quality a lot. Yeah. We need to stop doing this. Oh. I want to get it out on the anniversary, or I want to get it out before Christmas. Yeah, I mean... Because they always... They never do it right. They have that game Sonic Mania that didn't come out on an anniversary. It was announced on one. Actually, no, it was a party for the anniversary, but... Still. 
M2 is much and better. Really, what they could have done too. Well, no, it was came out around the same, but like still, M2 it wouldn't have get much time if they had put it on Mania's gate and just been like, because Mania brought back 2D Sonic. We're bringing back the classics in the Mania format. I see, I see like that wouldn't have saved them. They would have messed up still. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, the comment about like M2's drop dash being better, I don't know about that. But then again, I don't know. To me, they just kind of felt the same. Still kind of jank. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then again... Because uh, what it seems like from what people are telling me when they're, deep, deep, they're taking apart Sonic Origins is that maybe all of the games were supposed to be converted into like regular like C++ code instead of using RetroScript because like there's references to like the Sonic 1 sprites and the Sonic 2 sprites which makes no sense uh, in Sonic 3 anyway okay so I'm thinking maybe it would have all just run in the normal like new retro engine and not in this weird like compatibility mode I remember when people were speculating that there might be, like, end. different playable versions of Sonic where you can play as, like, Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 Sonic, even though it'd be, like, a very minor thing. Yeah, I speculated on it. <laughs> okay. I thought it was just all of the Sonic tubers, which I guess I would be... Would I really be put on that? Because I didn't really say too much about the Tails, game. are you upside down, buddy? Tails is always up. I don't understand... Yeah, actually, I'm confused about that. Why is Tails upside down? Yeah, maybe it's just funny. <laughs> Hydrocity bubbles. Uh, this was on the Game Gear first, and I am doing this wrong. Uh, but yeah, sadly, we'll probably never know. Um, unless somebody talks, but I doubt that's gonna happen. No, I think after... Uh... I think after Mania, people like Stealth and the other developers who hadn't really done a big project like that kind of learned what they should and shouldn't do, and they got another opportunity now so yeah i was gonna say after stealth had that long uh post about why origins was in the state that it was in i figured like we would never hear again from them because it's like oh probably weren't supposed to speak out like that which mm, well we don't even know if they brought stuff back to do the updates but i guess we'll have to see yeah because it would have been nice if they had gone like, yes, Sega reached out, we're going to do updates. And then they didn't do that. And then I've, I've been hearing that the updates that the update that came out uh, was for some issues like uh, Tails' sound effect playing all the time, that they kind of, they applied more of a Band-Aid uh, solution as opposed to an actual, solu uh, actually fixing it. So I don't know if that's true or not. Hmm. Somebody went in and like, oh, well, this is how it actually works. I mean, and it's fine. I think if it is the way that they described it, then it should work fine. Okay. The death wasn't the easy way to fix it had they known what they were doing. Okay. Oh, yeah, you missed it. My microphone fell on my foot at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> oh, no, is your foot fine? Yeah. I actually, I mean, I was able to walk out of the room just fine, so... But I had to go get batteries, so I, I, I think I'm good. Oh, that's good. I was trying to do it, I was trying to get people, I was telling people, like, subscribe to garrulous 64s new channel. And as I was doing that, the microphone just slips off. Uh, yeah. Well, it made, it made for a good moment, at least. I'm not hurt, so I'm good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Take care of that. So, you've played, like, Chat vs. Mania before, right? Yeah. So, I do stuff... Well, I was thinking, like, what if this had crowd control? I think there's potential for crowd control on this. 
I don't know. Like, it just depends. maybe that's something people would be into. It depends on whether or not like updates would probably break it. I don't, I don't know enough about uh, like how updates affect crowd control because a lot of the, I know the ones that you work on haven't been updated in a very long time, so pretty safe to say. But this well, one, I did talk to Noah, and Noah's wants to fix all the bugs first before we do anything. So chances are it would just be an alternate version of the game that just doesn't change. Okay. Yeah, that would be really cool. Also, that that fight on like this, what is it? Like the second level was pretty fucking harsh. <laughs> Uh, the snow level, I, I'm forgetting the name of the zone, I briefly glanced at it, but it had like this pinkish purple city background and it looked really nice. I'm just like, you know what, I like when levels do that, where it just has like a really good background, I don't know why, I'm just a sucker for that stuff. Yeah, I'll have to go through and actually play more of it, I only got to like the, um, the factory level. Okay. The first factory level, I think. Uh, have you been going for, uh, Chaos Emeralds? Oh no, I've just been playing it casually. That would probably be best. Like, the Chaos Emeralds do get a little uh, frustrating. Like, they're not impossible, it's just, it's always, like, those ones where one little mistake r ruins the entire thing. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, okay, I guess I did know where I was going. Alright then. Frontier is showing promise. I I want to see more from it. I'm curious, but I'm not gonna like jump on the I'm not gonna like jump on the hype train for that whole thing yet. So I jumped on the hype train for Sonic 06. I jumped on the hype train for Sonic. Uh unleashed. I dropped on my type train for generations. Uh, almost everything. Until, like, this game. And you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done getting hyped by the trailers and just, like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I'm I think I'm a similar way, but then again, it's because I also started doing YouTube and became a bit more cynical. Oh yeah, Sonic Colors Ultimate definitely broke that for Oh, like, yeah, I was so angry every time I saw it. I was like, why don't people understand what's going on? <laughs> but it's like, of course, they're always... It's nothing against them. I understand the enthusiasm. It's just... Why keep pushing away the legitimate criticism of it? But I realize that some that's just a lost cause. What? Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and there's that article a little while ago. Um, like Kotaku or something quoted a um Sonic Origins modder who said the game was too messed up for them to even fix it. Yikes. Oh, I really? remember that article. I've tried to distance myself from Origins, but like, I'm subscribed to a lot of Sonic tubers and some of them do like the mod videos on it. It's like, okay. But yeah, I remember reading an article like that. Oh, that was... I stopped doing mod showcase videos, really. It's just, I don't know. It's not my thing, really. If I have something to show, I'll do one, but otherwise. For me, I think I I kind of hit that ceiling of what I could do with mod videos, and eventually it's like, it's wow. all starting to look the same. Like, early on I explained that, it was like, or when I was ready to just, like move on from those videos, it was like, it's just me playing Sonic Mania again. Because, for the most part, it'd be like, oh, here's a character swap, and it's like, character swap there's nothing new added or anything if it was like a level swap you're like okay that's something i can get i can get behind because 
I like seeing custom levels. They're fun to play through. Or if it's, um... Like You're how... a Simpsons fan, right? Huh? You're a Simpsons fan, right? Um, yeah, I haven't seen anything recent uh, from it in a long time. Remember the um the episode where Lisa gets her own doll and it has like Nobby Stacy and stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. And it's like catered directly to her. Sonic Mini again, yeah, but she had a new hat. <laughs> okay, I was like that when uh, they released Knuckles with hat the uh, OVA Knuckles in uh Sonic Speed Simulator. Yeah, but he's got a new hat. It's Knuckles with hat. Oh, what's that? Okay. I'm not supposed to touch that. Okay. Yeah, it looked like a platform, but like. Oh, hat? it is a platform. I just. And Tails could stand on it. Did you see that? I was hitting. I was hitting the side of it. Okay. That. Oh, I guess that's you could stand on it. Makes sense, kind of. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, it's the electric part that I'm hitting. That. Okay. All right, game. You win that one. You probably should have moved that like electric thing down like five ten pixels. Yeah. Or smaller than the top of the platform. I don't know. <laughs> did they give Knuckles back his hat? Yeah, they did. <laughs> but it was like an event for like one week, and then they moved to something different. I know there's like I've missed like the last two events because I just. Not really interested in playing it anymore. It's the same thing every single time I log on. It's like I play for two hours, I unlock the uh, whatever it is, and then I move on. I only played Robobox exactly once and never again. <laughs> I mean, there's cool ideas in Roblox. Like, I saw a first person shooter that looks like Battlefield, but it's like Roblox characters. It looks funny, but it plays really well. Sonic Time Twister gave Knuckles this hat, which is why it's a good game. Yeah, I agree. That and also it's kind of a solid platformer, so... <laughs> and it was on Xbox for a little bit. <laughs> I have it on my, uh... On my Xbox One. <laughs> because somebody, I don't know who, uh... I forgot who it was, but... Someone actually put, um... Put it up on the Microsoft Store, so it was on PC and Xbox One. So for I think a few days, uh, that you can actually have a copy of Sonic Time Twisted on Xbox One and Series consoles. Nice. <laughs> and then Sega was like, "Nope." Well, they took it down, and then the person did it again. I don't know if Sega is trying to tell him nope or if they're going to do anything. So, if they do nothing, then... Oh, I'm just hearing the Metallic Madness remix. I'm like, that's so good. But yeah, um... I don't know if they did anything about it or didn't do anything about it, but... Um, a handful of lucky people were able to play it on their Xbox, even though... It's not the most polished version of the game, it's just an interesting version now to have. Yeah, if I was going to do it, I'd probably try to give as many, like, Sonic Tubers the heads up as possible, that way they could have gotten it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta find the certain Sonic Tuber that will just make the video. Here's how to get it. <laughs> Which is actually how I found it. <laughs> Step one, you need the time stone, so uh, go figure out how to get one of those. Dr. Strange probably has one somewhere. Step two, you need the Sonic statue that's in Japan, so uh, good luck. Oh, whoops. Roblox would be- Step three, you're gonna need Papa Yuji Naka's credit card and pin number. Just don't say anything about uh, Naoto Oshima, otherwise you will be blocked. Roblox. I really need to stop making Yuji Naka jokes. Yeah. 
his reputation. It's so fun to just blame him for a ton of stuff that he just didn't do. It's just weird now. If I because... drop a plate of food and like I, I mess it up, I go, "God damn it, Eugene Naka!" <laughs> Why didn't you make the physics better? <laughs> oh my gosh, I went right into an Eggman monitor. Not a fellow nowadays. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's just. I think it's just him being bitter about like what went down during the development of Balan Wonderworld. So. I don't know. I think this keeps happening to them, doesn't or to him, doesn't it? Does it happen with the day of the Sky Soldier too? Yeah, that one. I believe it was the publisher wanted to release a 3DS game, or wanted it as a 3DS game, so they had to develop. Uh, they, I think, they got another company to develop that, and then they wanted something for Wii U because that was out by the time the 3DS version was done. So they had to wait on that as well. So that's why Rodea the Sky Soldier is packed with, um, it has the Wii U and 3D, um, the Wii U and Nintendo Wii version, and the Wii version is better. Yeah. The Wii U just looks like an, I mean, it looks like if you put, uh, the 3DS version in Citra, and you just, um, you just put up the internal resolution by, like, times three or times four, and it looks so weird. And, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they went and, like, permanently altered their assets and didn't have a backup, and that's why they did that. I wouldn't be surprised either. Rather than start fresh with, like, the Wii version and then, like, report it. I think they did, they did have some of the assets, it's just different developer. As opposed to going, as opposed to going with, uh, Pro, which was, uh, Yuji Naka's company. Yeah, and I'm sure Yuji Naka was just like, no, you can't use my engine. They go, we'll make our own, and the entire project fails as a whole. History repeating itself. I don't think we'll I I don't think we'll see a a new version of Balan Wonder World unless they want to make like a VR version, which would be very cursed. And boring. So you want um, to see a I version don't know, of I never played it. Remember when Yuji Naka said on Twitter he wanted to see a version of the Sonic movie with the original Abomination Sonic design? That's a lot of people, and I would pay to watch that. I just want to see how it would all play out. Still can't believe they had ugly Sonic <laughs> trip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Um, I'll be honest, like, ugly Sonic was the best part of the movie. Once I started going to back to Sonic thing, my thing is going slow. <laughs> <laughs> Although, once I did, uh, like, I saw the movie, and then, like, a day or two later, I was reading on Twitter, it's like, oh, this is, like, how they did the Peter Pan character. I was like, oh, now I feel uncomfortable while watching it, because they made him out to be a villain, but it was, like, all of the events that happened to the original actor, Peter Pan. And it did not end well. I don't know if anybody ever made a statement about that, either. No, I, I think they just stayed quiet. Which, I'm not surprised. It's, it's a Disney... It's a... You know, it's Disney. Oh well, yeah, but you had Disney fixing like so many things. It depends like, on all the Fox properties. It depends on how much it actually affects them. Like something like that, where only people who are in the know are going to know about it. I think that's that won't affect them as much as if there was something in a movie that was incredibly problematic. Then yeah, they would have to uh, change it up. Or like when people got mad that there was like uh, there was like one little kiss in uh, in Lightyear. Uh, I, yeah, some people are just out of some people are just out of pocket completely. They're just I like crazy. that there's somebody who put up a sign in one of the theaters. Sorry, we can't fast forward the movie. It's like it's two seconds. It's two seconds. It's harmless. It's not hurting you. Whatever. It's not like it was hardcore graphic either. It was like a peck. If it was if if it was hardcore graphic, it probably wouldn't be in that theater. I don't know. Here's the thing. I'm sure you are around and alive. 
when two girls, one cup with a specific. Oh god. Okay. Uh, People complained less about that than they than they made about the post light year. Well, there's a difference between the two. One was done as a prank on like a friend or something. You'd get them to watch it. This one was like it's a little thing in a movie. I don't understand how the harmless one is the more controversial one. <laughs> but then again, it's certain people that just want to complain about that stuff. I watch a lot of VTubers, and I was watching Shy Lily, and she played like a few seconds of the music, and everyone just gasped in horror. <laughs> <laughs> everybody in the everybody in the chat, don't look that up. Don't. I mean, if you want to look up the music, you can. That's probably on YouTube. Okay. But don't look up the voice video. <laughs> Why? It's uh, pretty grotesque. Just saying. Already did. Oh no, I think I brought it up. Uh, we here at uh, the, the YouTube chat. channel got. We here on the. We here at the YouTube channel, Gotta Be Frank, are not responsible for those who decide to look it up. Uh, that is at your own risk. Uh, you know what you got yourself into. We claim no liability. I have to figure out a way to get out of that. It's like, I'm not responsible for your mistake. <laughs> oh, wait, you're not responsible for their libraries? Well, that either. No matter how yeah, underfunded it is, I don't have the funding for it. I feel like this whole- I feel like well, I- think had, had... I have the memory span of a fish. I do too, but I still remember traumatic things. Okay, I've seen stuff that I will never, I will never forget because I can't get, I will, something will like remind me of it, and it's like, well, I'm not getting that out of my head anytime soon. Not good stuff. I turned my watch history off, but I still don't know if watching those videos have repercussions. You can that... go into your view history, and just like remove stuff. Coming off a kill fan, you just have like what memeology 101 videos more than likely, or is it Mighty D? Which 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 channel is it? it it's related to a, another creator. Oh. It it's something I'll explain uh, when we're not on stream. It's... I'm so confused. Like, I can explain it, but I have to be uh, vague about it. It's more of, like, a creator that's infamous. For a couple oh, things. Oh, it's because they played uh, Freddy Fazbear Smasher Pass. I was not aware that was a... Actually, at this point, I have a friend who did, like, one for Pokemon. Um, so I'm not surprised that those exist. But it's not, like, for trainers. It was for actual Pokemon. You watched a few Memology 101 videos, but that's it. Oh. I watched a lot of them. They really need to work on the algorithm for the YouTube shorts. Yeah, they do. Because, Cause like, I kept getting these, like, doctor videos where they, like, watch someone do something and they just, like, look surprised or whatever. I've never heard of it. And then, like, the ones about, the, like, the blender and, like, these, like, weird barrel products, right? Oh. Just over and over and over and over, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna block the channel. Bell stop him from getting recommended, right? Nope. You know, it took like three days for it to go through that whatever queue it generated. Okay. Hi, Cinnamon. How you doing? It seems like, too, it's set up that way, like, if you scroll down to the next video, it goes, oh, you watched this video, you must like it. 
it works just like TikTok. No matter it, what it is. It is that aggressive with its algorithm. Yeah, all my TikToks were in Spanish. <laughs> I kept getting, like, ones in Spanish. I'm like, I don't know Spanish. I didn't quite got any. It's just, this happened. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to... I was wondering why that was like, well, hold on, that looks like a ceiling, and I died the last time. I have to jump on the platforms, I'm not... Now I know I'm kind of, like, doing this... Almost kind of um, mindlessly trying to fight the boss. It's like, there'll be times where I'll be hyper-focused on something else, and, like, the game is just kind of, like, in the background for me. <laughs> Did you skip Damn your Spanish it. classes? <laughs> I skipped my, um, my Mexican class. That, uh, that's my heritage, but I suck at it so, so badly. Same. I don't like spicy things. I can't speak Spanish with a damn, except for the curse words. I can't speak Spanish, and I chose not to learn. So my friends would be like, it's like, dude, what's going on? Why? Why? And it's like, I don't have a re I don't have a reason to. And like, my high school didn't require an English like or a second language class, so. Mine did. Uh, it required me to take Spanish, which I failed because they had Spanish and German in my high school. I just don't know why it wasn't required. If it's anything like my high school, they slowly they probably slowly started taking out requirements. It was like, oh, okay, these are the necessary classes you need. Don't worry about these other ones. Well, I still, had the, I still had to have the requirements because I didn't have... Because most people going into high school, at least in my high school, would take gym in their freshman year just to get it out of the way because you only needed one gym crit to, like, do anything. Oh, to graduate, yeah. anyway. My high school, I think you needed, but, like, like, two I years. didn't take it. I think you needed two years for it in my high school. But I was in a sport, so that was it was taken care of for me. Oh, yeah, I meant saying if you were in, I guess, marching band, that counted it. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't take it till my senior year, and then the teacher was just like, yeah, you know what you're doing, just go. <laughs> That's awesome. You went to gym your junior year? Oh, I, I never went to gym because I, I was like, I might as well just be in a sport because this sounds really boring. Because, <laughs> like, here's the thing. By the time you're a senior, they don't care because, like, the gym teacher probably will have you do stuff for them anyway because you know what's going on. They can't send the freshman who doesn't know where the office is. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Speaking of like the whole not knowing Spanish, um, there was a... So I was a teacher's assistant uh, my senior year. And the teacher that I was helping out uh, had this entire thing. I guess uh, they had to call one of the students' parents, and it was, like the whole call was in Spanish. And he was asking me, he was like, "Oh, how?" I was like, "How does this look?" I'm like, "Um, I don't know." I'm like, what? You don't know Spanish? I'm like, no, I, I don't know Spanish. I wonder if I could have called him out on that. I was like, wait, hold on. Am I expect? Am I expected to know Spanish? We offer more than Spanish in this high school. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of bad on their part. We can never assume. 2011. What a weird time. Uh, 2011. Ah, uh, Jesus. It's funny, like, uh, like Gareless 64 is like, oh, you make boomer jokes about me, and it's like, but I, you're older than me. It's like, yeah, I know, I just do it to mess with you. Because I think he's what, 24, I think. I, I mentioned it at some point, but I, like trying to remember off the top of my head. I think it was 24, and it's like, oh, yeah, it's okay. Try being me. I'm almost 30. Uh, I am 30. It's okay. I'm not that far behind. Oh, I don't remember this boss. No, I need rings. Oh, this... 
Oh, okay. I get how oh, this boss yeah, works. You're like way behind. <laughs> Just like refresh. You'll hate yourself for attempting to learn it. I mean, my thing is that trying to learn something like that would be incredibly difficult for me. Oh, wow, I game overed. Oh, that's right, I kept using my lives towards uh, special stages. Oh, you could retry them? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, at least it starts you on Act 3. I'm like, you're going to have to start from Act 1. It's just like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which I... I love it. I appreciate that. It's like it's really trying to pass itself off as a true sequel to uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is great. Because... At least for the story, like... Um, it takes place after 3 and Knuckles. The worst it could have a labyrinth zone. And there goes all my rings. And I died. Because I wasn't paying attention to the fire. <laughs> well, I think you'd want to know that. Right, because in case you ever get to, in case you ever get skill where you get to learn to talk to animals, which I, I that sounded weird. Though, but <laughs> if you ever get the gift to talk to animals, and then they send you to the loony bin, and then they want you to prove it by talking to a monkey from south of the border, then you're gonna need it. Not that weird. I'm sure we've all seen wild thornberries. a reference to the uh, um Dr. Doolittle movie the, the Eddie Murphy one. Oh. <laughs> Wait, there was a checkpoint there? I could have started sooner. Oh, you what? jumped over it. See well, no, mean? because you came over it on that one anyway with the satire, so. See what I mean by when I said like it's just it's almost like it's mindless for me. Like, I'm not 100% paying attention. Yeah, same. Like, especially 2D Sonic games, it's it's easy as a fan, because we've been doing it for so many years, just to be, like, on the pilot. Yep. That's me anytime I play Mania. It's like, I've done it all before, so... So when it said best OC to not steal, best well, OC. if you're going to steal an OC, then don't steal Snuffies. <laughs> I finally did it. I saved Knuckles. I forgot that was the whole plot of this. Oh, yeah. Cold Steel. No, we don't need it. We don't... The, the less we talk about Cold Steel, the better. Is that that Driver's Ed movie? Uh... No, I'm thinking of Red Asphalt. <laughs> I mean, close enough. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think that was supposed to get you. Maybe? No? It's got absolutely bodied on that one. Ready to be disappointed by yeah. Cold War? I think you're a couple decades late for that. That's terrible. If you're talking about Call of Duty, um, I know you play a lot of zombies. No, he's play He's taking the Darksaber into himself. <laughs> what is that little pop gun going to do? Honestly. Oh, Knuckles is, like, really that strong, huh? I mean, he did manage to knock the emeralds out of Sonic. True. Why can't there be more games of him doing that? That'd be awesome. I can't believe he did it in a movie, basically. Um, 
Oh, this is a glitch? Really? <laughs> I oh, thought no. this was a long cutscene. <laughs> I thought we were just on a really long cutscene. <laughs> Do I look like I need your power? <laughs> He's just pushing uh, just a little bit more. Right, slowly getting you off screen. Okay. Yeah, we did it. I have, take good. I have taken the robot off screen. Oh, wow, I actually do have to restart. Oh, no. <laughs> so you can't press start and skip the cutscene or something? No. I think I'm soft-locked. I'm not surprised at this point. Um, that's what this stream needed. Another tech issue. <laughs> Thing, what are you aiming at? <laughs> Thing is a sniper trying to apply for phase. Going for FaZe Clan. You're an awful sniper. He's standing there to make sure Sonic and Tails don't get up and that they stay dead. Alright, I think I actually do have to reset the game. Can I do that through the game itself? Oh, okay. I know some of them, it's like, oh, press F1 and you can restart the whole game. It's like, okay, or you can reset the game or something, but... I gotta boot it up again. It better sa it better have saved. Oh, let's hope. All right, cool. Wait. Oh, I needed those rings. Sweet poppers. Okay, this could be a lot worse. Actually, yeah, this could have been a lot worse. I could have accidentally deleted my save file. Yeah, there's a million ways it can go worse. I did that for Sonic and the Fallen Star, and... Oh my gosh, really? I forget about the fire. Yeah, I did that for Sonic and the Fallen Star, and uh, Garrelous 64 had to help me with a save file, because I didn't have one anymore. Yeah, I deleted my save file, playing the whole game on stream, and deleting it because I didn't get a prompt of if I wanted to delete the save file or not. I have to remember that has fire. Fire! Oh, I don't want to be above it. Oh, I could just drop dash. Then Were you ever a fan of Beavis and Butthead, by the way? Um, I haven't seen it in a very long time. I know, uh, they had a movie that came out that came out recently. They also have a new series. Really? That just started. I remember the one from a couple of years ago, but... And they still make fun of music videos, like they're making fun of new ones, but they also make fun of YouTube videos and TikToks now. I mean, it's natural. It's, it's the new media for them to make fun of, so it actually makes a lot of sense for them to do that. Oh my gosh, really? I might be in a bit of trouble. Like, um, I think the first one was a girl getting into Harvard, and it was, like, her reaction to it. It was pretty good. King of the Hill is better. Good Family sucks, though. I don't remember what the Good Family was. And I do agree that King of the Hill is amazing. No, I but, think um, I think it was episode, like, four or something. Uh, we get to see the character that Hank Hill's based off of again. All right. That was like weird hearing that voice after like so many years.
I'll tell you what. <laughs> that boy ain't right. Not even 8 a.m. that boy ain't right. <laughs> Oh, so this is supposed to happen. Yeah, I think it's supposed to happen. Final boss is a good time. Well, let's see if I can get to the final boss. I think this game has other plans for me. It's like, here's the thing, too. If this was made by Sega, they would have never done that. Well, yeah. Sonic being positively bodied and beaten up. Yeah, never. You can't make it that convincing. Oh, there we go. Takashi Izuku would just went like, are you fucking crazy? We can't do that. There we go. I've been streaming for five hours. Yeah, I know. I planned on streaming for longer than this, but I'm getting really tired out from it. <laughs> There's a reason I don't stream for more than three hours. I just can't do it. You can only say that Sonic is being tortured, and apparently that was a mistranslation, so not even accurate. Yeah. I still love that we have Aaron Weber's notes. Um what am I supposed to do? Uh, can you dash into him? I guess not. Maybe something with the white things, maybe not come back or something? I don't know. It's either the white ones with like the red project. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, okay. I thought it was either that or like the red projectiles, but no, it's the white ones. Not sure why some white ping pong balls would like hurt him, but all right. I was going to say milk bubbles. I don't know why I thought that. It's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's actually probably milk, so... Pepsi milk? <laughs> I will say this. This compared to Sonic and the Fallen Star, this one has, like... This one feels better to control in... As, uh, like when you're just flying around, it feels better to control this one. Sonic and the Fallen Star just felt way too slippery. Although I am getting stuck. Okay. Stop sticking me. Why does this version of Metal Sonic have a lot of booba? <laughs> oh no! I hope this doesn't lead to fan art. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, knowing Sonic fans, it probably will. You have to start from Act 3 again? That's, uh, okay, good. Yeah, no, it's just the beginning of the fight. That makes the most sense. This is a game I would like to get better at. Like, even this... Like, the Sonic games that I find interesting, that even if I don't really care too much for them, like, I will make it a point to try to get better at them. It's also the reason why... Sonic 2 is not my favorite Genesis game. I don't really care too much for it, but I can still play well at it because I was like, you know what? I'm just going to learn how to play this game really well. It ends the skill. Yeah, the good thing, at least, you know, the 
people needed to play Sonic 1 really good. It's pretty much the same skill you can play Sonic 3 really good. Yeah. So it, like, it transfers over really well. True. My guess is that for whatever reason, this is not going to be 8 hits. It's going to be like 12 or 16 or something. Didn't, like, one of the bosses in Sonic and the Falling Star have, like, like a certain amount of hits? Yeah, that was the final boss. Oh, never mind. I broke the machine. Oh, there's another phase. Well, I'm just going to... What's up with the thing on the back of his head, though? That kind of doesn't make sense. I have no idea. I don't know what Noah's obsession was with giving, like, big spikes. They're the single ones. Okay. My guess was going to be like, Oh, have you seen the movie Coneheads? <laughs> be like, oh, okay, I get it now. Yeah, like every version of Metal Sonic has that weird, like, larger spike. At least for Sonic it makes sense, it's more of a perspective thing rather than just, you know, that's just an abnormally large spike. But I've seen this, like, black metal Sonic before, was that like an Archie thing maybe? Probably. The design is a Sonic Extreme extra uh, scrapped idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I'm also so sad. So I remember Sonic Extreme very vividly. So when I was a kid, we took a trip to like, the mall in a completely different town, and they had an EB Games, and then they had these um, brochures for the Sega Saturn. And in there was an ad for Sonic Extreme. Oh, okay. And I'm like, I should have kept that thing, because, like, yeah, I would have had a piece of history. <laughs> now it's just lost media. Probably check, like, archive.org. Someone's probably have, like, some kind of random copy of it. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I was doing research for, uh... Like, the game's more important than just, like, flyers and ads, but still. Yeah, but it's still, like, part of... It's part of the game's uh, development or something, like... Um, when I was doing... I was... Well, I haven't finished the video yet, because... Uh, I was trying to stop my channel from dying, but... I was working on the Mega Man The Wily Wars video, and I actually found an article where people actually knew... Like, insiders or journalists knew of uh, the game's existence before it was actually officially announced. I'm like, how do you come up with that? Like, how would... How would you even know that that's... Game Sonic Extreme? Uh, no. Uh, Mega Man The Wily Wars. Ah. Uh -huh. Like, how would you know that's even releasing, or where would you get that info from? Okay. I don't know. I think people talk, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. We did it. Official Sonic Extreme prototype on PC. It's not a, it's not official, but it is a prototype. I think someone recreated it. You have the Mega Man the Wily Wars official cart from Limited Run Games. Is that Limited Run or is that Retro Bit? Because I I wanted to get that for a long time, but I eventually came to the realization I was not going to be able to afford it because it was ninety dollars. Yeah, that's insane. Like I get you have to make cartridges, which nowadays is pretty expensive, but well, still. It, it was like a full, like, 
It was like a limited edition that had like uh, books and all this stuff that came with it, but I'm just like, I, I can't afford that. Oh, they use limited run to sell it. Oh, so we're never getting it then. That's kind of how limited run uh, goes. But yeah, uh, Sonic Triple Trouble. Kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic Triple Trouble. Pretty cool. Uh, I swear I. Compl don't remember much from the last two or three zones. I kind of just, I kind of just went through the motions. So it was pretty good, or as the kids would say, poggers. Yeah, as the Twitch kids would say, poggers. The ones on Twitch.tv. Ones who could also go to Twitch.tv slash gotta be frank. Just remove the E because someone else took that username. Uh, because I plan on going back to streaming there soon. I just got to figure stuff out for the YouTube channel. And that's where my VTuber model is. Um, I wish I was able to bring out the VTuber model like right away, but uh, I don't have any of that set up right now. <laughs> it's on NSO expansion pack. Yeah, I just don't think the expansion pack is worth it. Yep, it's that, but all all one word. Oh yeah, I need to finish making changes to the model. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, because the uh, the glass sh uh, shader messed up. Yeah, the glass shader and the texture hands problem. Oh, um, the flashlight being too, way too bright. Yeah, that's more like a feature, not a bug. <laughs> it's not a bug; it's a feature. So yeah, this game was pretty cool. Um, I'm probably going to play more of it when I can to just, um, I don't know. There's like a video series that I do where I kind of have this self-imposed challenge. Who knows? I might work on it and try to have it out at some point next month. We'll see. Anyways... You haven't bought a single NSO subscription ever since you bought you got your Switch. I have the the base one just because I like playing the Super Nintendo and NES games on it. But anything beyond that, I just don't see as worth it. And I've never paid for it, even though I have a good Switch now. It's fine. It's I don't like, even use my Switch. I have two of them, and I don't use them. If you don't have a reason, if I always like if. There's no justification for getting it online or playing it online, then it's fine. Well, I mean, it might be because I don't have any games. Like, what am I going to do, play Mario Kart forever? Knuckles as a playable character? Okay. I have, pl I have new playable characters now. Oh, that's so poggers. Well, I know what I'm doing on Twitch. I'm gonna play the whole thing as Knuckles. <laughs> so, does Fang handle like he does in um, Sonic Galactic? I have not played Sonic Galactic in a very long time, so I, I don't remember. I thought that they were gonna come out with like everything, but I guess they're just doing a new demo this year. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, Knuckles has his own prologue stage that connects the story. All right, I, I just won't play it today because I've been streaming for almost six hours and it is very hot and I am exhausted. But I think that's going to do it for today's stream. Uh, yeah, if you do want to check out the Twitch streams, twitch.tv slash gotta be frank, just remove the E. And um, I should be getting back to, I don't remember what I was playing on there. I, I know I had Kingdom Hearts going, but I don't know if I'm going to continue that. I'm going to add some more platformers that I'll play on there. Uh, maybe one day do a uh, crowd control. But I want to, like, make it like an event kind of thing, you know, hype it up and everything. So. Yeah, because there's YouTube support now for that. Oh! I was going to say for Twitch. Okay, I could do that too. I didn't know crowd control had uh, YouTube support, but... Um, and Discord support too, which I haven't tried. That sounds awesome. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's going to do it for today's stream. I'll, I'll figure out all the Twitch stuff uh, when I can. Uh, as for videos, there's a video on Celeste that um, that's going to be coming up very soon. I hope to have that out by next week. 
gonna finish the Sonic Origins video as soon as I can. Hopefully that can be out the following week, and then Sonic Mania without defeating a bad Nick. Hopefully before the end of August. That's all I can say. Because that's going to be quite the project. Um with that said, I well, want to thank congratulations you. on five years, Frank. Thank you so much. And since I, we met, I would think around the time we started. So it would be about five years of friendship for us. So that's cool. That's that's even cooler. <laughs> so for everyone who is watching, thank you so much for five years of support. It is greatly appreciated. Um, this channel and the game that's also going to be like having its fifth five years, fifth anniversary, whatever you want to call it, Sonic Mania, like this channel and that game have I mean, it sounds kind of weird to say, but man, they've essentially, they've basically changed my life and like, they're big important things to me, so hopefully, you know. Same with my journey as a content creator, Sonic Mania changed, well, it gave me my start. Yeah, it gave I wouldn't a... learn reverse engineering, I wouldn't learn C++, so much. Huh. It's funny because I was going to school for to uh, for programming, and then I dropped out. <laughs> I'm just like, well, I'm stressed at school, but I'm also doing this YouTube thing that I enjoy more. <laughs> I'll do the YouTube thing. Yeah. Not sure if that was a great idea, but it's been a fun. It's it's been fun since I kind of picked up doing YouTube more as like my main thing. But um. Well, you know, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Exactly. And, you know, you could have had a degree, yeah, probably, maybe by now, but at the same time, you would have been kicking yourself, like, well, what if I stuck with a YouTube thing? Or I could have Every just Every time you watched a, um, a Markiplier video or whatever. Or if... Hmm. I'm just trying to think, like... Or, if, like, some of my content creator friends that I met before I, uh, before I started this channel, I could see them as, like, oh, wow, I could have... It, I could have been in that kind of, like, scenario where things are going really good. So, who knows? Uh, Bartola, how you doing? Wait, why do you have two different... Like, is this a... Is, the, is your account being used by two people? Account sharing is illegal. <laughs> Only on Netflix. Netflix will find you and kill you. Netflix will find you and put ads on all of your shows. Could have gone into crippling debt. That, you know what? Actually, that's another fair one. Could have gone into crippling debt because of college. So, um, who knows? <laughs> but, I was uh, in crippling debt as a colleague. And I didn't even graduate. I got out early enough to where it's like, oh, well, you're not making a lot, but you don't owe money. So, it's like the glass half full kind of thing. Anyways, uh, what I was getting as a uh, again, thank you all so much for five years of support. Hopefully, there will be more than five years of uh, of this channel going on. And can you also remember me when you get famous? <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to answer that. Not not to sound incredibly mean or anything, but if we were like actual like good friends. Absolutely, but <laughs> I started thinking of that "Remember Me" song from Coco. <laughs> this was like an old school, like Knuckles Channel stream ending, where it takes me like twenty minutes to end the stream because I'm just like, eh, I'm just gonna keep talking to my chat for a while. <laughs> I used to do that way too many times. It was like, uh, you said you were gonna end stream, but it's like ten minutes later. It's like twenty minutes later. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I just like the conversation. It's fun. <laughs> but I actually do have to end things off. Time, today. Frank. It's time to play it out of its misery. <laughs> yeah, alright, so we're going to be deleting the channel right now. Um, that was the whole thing. That was what the five years was leading up to. Thank you for coming by to my social experiment. No. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the stream. Uh, I, again, you know, have the uploads that I've mentioned earlier. And a huge thank you to uh, Codename Gamma for joining me for the last bit of the stream. Uh, YouTube.com yeah, oh, YouTube slash uh, Codename Gamma. Check out their video on the Sonic 3 cheats that you can do in Sonic Origins thanks to the new update. And thanks to Gamer Blake because they did the whole video. Fantastic job on the video. Yeah, I know, right? 
So, yeah. <laughs> but that's an un... So what happened? Just come back for the millionth time. Uh, I am wrapping up the stream. I really have to. I am really tired out. <laughs> so, until next time, hope you all have a wonderful and safe day. And I will catch you for either the next stream or the next video. Until then, take care. And once again, thank you for five years of support. I'll see you next time. Wah, 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 w